is Megan from 1900 Blowies. This is a service where we call up places and we make sexy calls. Not before my morning coffee. My coffee chewed right out of me. Let it out. <laughs> but when I let it out, there wasn't a sound, but I released everything that was in my house. <laughs> Helps. Okay, I'm on now. <laughs> when I didn't flush the toilet, it wasn't me, it was aliens. You wouldn't want it to be real spider. <laughs> oh, no way, Patty, it's not around here. What do you do with a Sammy Masher early in the morning? Uh, first of all, you don't have a gobble stick in your hand. Get that honey in there. Oh, yeah. Okay? Boom! Imagination comes from the brain. I gotta stay awake! I need this bacon! I'm gonna burp, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Don't do any of that. I want you to know, it's because of those people that find that not cool is the reason why we have to hold back yeah. and anyway. not share the awesome no. That happens yeah, yeah. Although, in the writer's room with you guys. Share. I'm sorry. Because I'm a frat boy. Okay. I'm oh, a no. frat boy. Right. I didn't even fing go to college. Okay. Alright? I've never had alcohol in my goddamn life. That's true. And I'm a fing frat boy. <laughs> Eat my shit. Okay, honey, just breathe. You're okay. Can we I will wear you oh. like a goddamn hat, bitch. Oh, but that actually did sound misogynistic a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I could wear a guy like a hat too, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But I love the idea that he could get information out of her simply by just diddling her down under the blanket. He's a pretty charming dude. God. Yeah, but it's like, is that if that's how it is, then why do we need torture in this world? I feel like... <laughs> why do we need torture I don't think again? most of them look the, like The day that I call sex diddling is, I think... Well, no, it was, it was specifically diddling. He had his hands down there. It was specifically diddling. It was specifically just, your diddling, honor, your, honor. your Honor. Your Honor, I believe it was specifically diddling. Uh, I am just a small land. country yeah. boy. For the record, but I do believe. For the record, D I D D L I N G. Diddling. I, I used it in my crossword this morning. Yeah. <laughs> it was entirely wrong, but I yeah. just wrote it in there. I will also accept flicking the bean. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, I remember I was crazy. I remember at one point, like, Lying down in front of my mom's car in the driveway and showing her the keys ah! and saying, Just run me over now! Like, I was nuts. Hormones are so weird. Um, but it wasn't because I was like, Oh, this boy doesn't like me. It was because I thought I wasn't going to get as good of a score on my AP history test oh, as I Tisha, wanted. No. Yeah, I was that kid. Oh, um, like, I got an A minus and marched right into the teacher's office and was like, I need to know why all eight points have been removed because an A minus, even the highest point for that, is a 92. Which means that I want to show where every single one of these eight points was taken off, and we're going to argue every single one of them. You were a nightmare. I yeah, you, it's not like a nightmare. <laughs> I was like, I, as a teacher, I'd be like, just pass Hirschberger. Good. I have no <laughs> oh idea. my gosh. My name is Philip DeFranco. I'm Ross Everett. I'm Steve Zaragoza, and I'm slightly sick. ill, yes. Uh, I have Canada uh, cold. Boy, you can't say I have can and not finish mm. it with sir. You gotta say Oh, yeah. wow. I have it's a like cold go that I got like from it. Canada. <laughs> yeah. It's it's like like big, well, no matter what, it's a big relief. Yeah. Canada yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it must be really nice. Yeah. Really? You had to send me a text message that you had something important <laughs> yeah. to tell me, and then you stopped on can? Yeah, yeah. I had a cough. I had to call. Can yeah. Canada cold Canada warns cold. you before you're gonna sneeze or sniffle. Like it has this little. And thing apologizes yeah. before him. Sorry, here comes a sneeze. I do. And instead oh, of making meth, you. you go and make maple syrup. I've got to say, the moment I felt least like a man was actually like yesterday. I was driving to work. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like a couple of years ago. It was yesterday. I was driving to work, and this woman like flagged me down, like in my in my condo complex. I was like, "Oh my god, what's going on?" So I stick my head out of the window. She's like, "Can you can you jump my car?" Like, you know, no, I can't. And I was like, <laughs> "I uh, don't have the cables." <laughs> and she was like, "I do." And I was like, "I'm I don't not know a man." How to use them? And. 
<laughs> then you don't I got out help. of the car, exactly, and I was like, cool, I can do this. I open up the trunk, I put the thing on there, and she... Oh, you went for it? She hands me the key. Yeah, because, you know, you can't just fucking... So you were improv with uh, electricity? I'm telling you, I, like, open up the car. I didn't even think about it. I open up my trunk, I turn off the car and everything. I walk over to the engine, I'm like, cool! And then I look over at her, and she's holding the cables. And I'm like, oh, shit. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with this. Did you? Were you open so about it? So did you just guess? You, fake it? you I was, guessed. No, no. What I did don't was guess. Don't ever guess. You blew up her car. This is what I did. I you was murdered like, her. You cover it up. I swear you to God, this is what she I did. I thought, she's <laughs> dead. You chopped her up in little pieces. I hope you don't no, have to jump your car dead. later because you have a dead body. Give me your hand. <laughs> Give me your. There's blood on this. There's crusty blood. No, that's from my nose. Oh, There's sorry. guilt. Yeah, that is guilt. Actually, <laughs> you're going to live a very long time according to this line. I'll let him finish his story. Uh, okay. Uh, really quick. I, the way I did it, and I feel like such a dick, was like, okay, I'll do this side and you get that you one. You waited for her to put them on. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, okay, I've got it on. I was like, your car's off, right? Because I knew that part. I knew that part. You kept repeating so, that part over and over I again. I knew that. Yeah, car's Even off, right? Cool, car's away. off. I open up my Fiat, and I'm like, oh, shit. I see the negative, but where the hell's the positive? So I'm like, that looks right. So I stuck it on. And then I get into the car. I swear to God this happened. I get into the car, and I turn it on. Not the engine. I t- just turn on the car, and I'm looking at her with a big smile on my face, and she's like, "You are you joking? You gotta turn on your car." And I was like, "I, I went, oh!" I turn it on, and she's like, "Ah, you're messing with me!" And I was like, "Yep." <laughs> One time I was coming home on the 405 freeway, and this old man swiped into my Honda Civic, and it scratched the hell out of the whole side of it, and it happened in slow motion, and the dude looked so calm while he did it. <laughs> Imagine that. And then we pull off of the freeway and we park. And this is like the first accident I'd ever been in in my life. And so I get out of the car and I'm like shaking. And I'm like, what happened? What just happened? He comes over to me and he's like, look, I'll give you 800 bucks. <laughs> we'll call it a deal. I'm like, what? Is this how accidents work? He pulled out $800 cash, $100 bills, gave them to me. And he's like, have a good day, son. And then he drove off. Well, did it cover the damage? No, it didn't cover the damage. My dad was like, what the f***? Don't ever accept cash. <laughs> Remember when I was trying to get into the World Wrestling Federation as a diva wrestler and I changed my name to Lee the Negotiator Newton? Yes, I do. It was the worst week ever. Well, it's because it's genocide. You can't, it's, what am I supposed to do? Are so- you ready to meet the negotiator? You're the obliterator. I'm, I'm the obliterator. negotiator. I'm Take you, you out. You're making Ooh, your own pow. sound. There's a reason you're not in the Federation. And then we take you out. Take you down, Beretta. You're the obliterator. Just take it. We are a respected news source. I'm done. I think that's the other <laughs> point. The other, the other Halloween costume trick tip that we should say. A, a costume you make, even if it's just like crap, compared to something you buy is infinitely better all the time. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right, you're that's, right. That's true at Comic-Con, that's not true. <laughs> in, my, in my eyes, if some kid came up and I'm like, that's not what that But is. I always want to see the kid in the, like, the cardboard actually, robot. I don't, know. I don't want to you turn some... <laughs> I mean, the guy that like actually judges. What it's are... not good, that's not deserving you're of my Kit Kat bar. You're a pirate? What the fuck are you? <laughs> and he just goes... Oh. I'm like, oh. Take everything. Take all the candy. Like, you don't need to juggle. <laughs> right, here's 20 bucks. <laughs> If I could recommend uh, a movie club, I don't know if it's still available for you guys on Netflix, but I want you to watch the movie Teeth. Oh, man, oh, God, Teeth. That sounds horrible. And I want oh. a reaction cam on Steve and Trish's face. That's a great idea. Yeah. We gotta get, like, a webcam, because, I mean, a webcam. <laughs> no way, let's get one. <laughs> let's get a webcam. We can talk to our daughter that lives in Cincinnati. Uh, no, we need... <laughs> little, little volume. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do it? Turn it on, Mom. Turn it on. I, I never had my lunch stolen or any of those. Please yeah, I did. So, yeah. You did. Yeah. No, that <laughs> crap. You stupid, Screw the stupid, innocent. stupid bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> You stupid, I still remember it because I was so mad. It was the one day I got a Lunchable because my dad packed my lunch. We never got a Lunchable because my mom was trying to make us healthy. And Jennifer, stupid long legs Now she has like 15 kids and is dumb. But she stole my lunch. And then I remember, I was so, so mad. But I remember specifically like me being very excited about it. She stole it and then I tried to tattle on it. I was like, Jennifer stole my lunch. And then she was like, Lee never has Lunchables. 
and I couldn't argue. <laughs> 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 like, she was just looking no, for her window. She's right. She's like, it's the perfect I crime. never get lunch <laughs> Can I tell you something? If I could fly, I would do it naked. Like, I would fly around naked. So just nobody to... would believe? Well, so not only, yeah, was exactly. Flying, and he was yeah. naked. I want to add that level of disbelief That's, to it already. I just saw, like, a big naked bearded yeah. guy fly. It, I, I don't know. I mean, and was it real? He shit on my car. He shit on my car. Would you car. shit from the sky? Fuck yeah. yeah. I would. I'd pee, too. I'd pee everywhere. You would remind me of one of the, you know, like, on the Tenacious Z <laughs> album, you would get it all like over cherubs, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Naked babies. That's what I'd There you go. That's what I would do, too. I'd fly around naked with one of those little harp. And I would just fly around and be like, I'm from heaven. <laughs> and, then fly and a small little Cupid's yeah. arrow. I'm Cupid. Oops. Yeah. And then, yeah. ah, ah, yeah. ah. Oh. <laughs> There's a naked guy flying and we no won't even talk about how it. he has arrows. No one saw it. You're a terrorist now. Yeah. Worst injury I've ever had in my life. I stepped on a nail. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At, oh at a, I, we worked, I worked at a haunted house in Oxnard, and uh, we were just like cleaning shit up. And I step into this room, and I go, Gush. "Oh God!" That, that, and, uh, it was, uh, dude. I lift up my foot, and there was a plank <laughs> of wood stuck to my foot, and I was like, "Oh my God! This, this, I don't feel pain, so this can't be bad. Maybe it just went through the rubber part." I pull it out, the most excruciating pain I've oh, ever felt, God. and the nail is like that fucking long. Well, because it's one. Of, well, it w probably wasn't one of the just like the straight nails. It was probably one of the curvy. Nails. No, no, it was a straight nail, but it was oh. rusty as fuck and really gross. And so, I don't like that at but all. check this shit out. So I was like, oh my God! I took off my sock. It was bleeding and it like sucked. I covered it up. I put on my shit or whatever. I put Neosporin on it. Next morning, I wake up. I look at my foot, completely black. The whole bottom of my foot, black. I was like, that's not good or right at all. <laughs> my parents freaked the fuck out. We go to the doctor. They're like, yeah, you're going to need a tetanus shot because oh. that's probably like tetanus or whatever. So I was like, holy oh. shit. So <laughs> you're you like, that's the day I lost Man. my foot. Yeah, exactly. And then you pop it off. <laughs> I um I accidentally <laughs> destroyed my uh, a high school buddy of mine because um I didn't know that like it's normal for a guy to sometimes have hair on his feet. Oh yeah. Um, because I'm a very hairless person, <laughs> and I made a reference. I was like, dude, you're like a fucking hobbit. Oh yeah. Just offhand, mm -hmm. and apparently that shit stuck with him. And oh, like yeah. I talked to his like long term girlfriend, and she was like, ever since you said that, he waxes his feet. <gasps> really. <laughs> Guy waxes feet for right, life. and I was like, "Whoa, dude!" I, I would probably. I know. I think that was the moment. Bully. I think that was the moment I realized. <laughs> that was the moment I realized the power words had. Yeah, I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> just offhand. You gave that guy a complex just by making a joke. <laughs> he watches you on YouTube. He's like, <laughs> "He's the man that ruined my life. I'm I have like, to wax my feet now." Like, Do you remember the night where there were a bunch of guys that came in who nobody knew? who then ended up whipping out a butterfly knife, and then, do you know Josias Porter? No. I shouldn't be using the real names. Yeah, I anyway, know. I was yeah, like, just like, and I couldn't remember either. if you were there in the background, but there was this memory. There was a, somebody came into one drunken party and was like, hey man, I found a bunch of Asian porno VHS tapes in the dumpster out back. And they came in <laughs> with all these Asian pornos in their hand, and they started passing them out to people. And now I, got, I wish I was there. I got like, <laughs> door prizes? Yeah. Asian pornos for everybody. I got like you three of them. I was like, Ooh. That's the yeah. best party swag I've ever heard of. And so, so then three random people walked into this party right. who like were just party hopping house to house. And I'm like hammered, like sort of teetering on my feet, holding these like your dumpster porn, hardcore, <laughs> hardcore, hardcore dumpster, dumpster porn, porn. <laughs> Asian dumpster yeah. porn. Okay, it, yeah, it, it sounds better than it was. Right. And so this guy was like, "Hey, man, like, why hold all those Asian pornos in your hands?" <laughs> and I'm like, I, "I don't know. Someone handed them to me. I'm just like." I just was on the positive end of this, and <laughs> he was like, and he's like, yo, yeah. well, he was like, well, I guess their their goal was to come in and start a fight, and so he used me as his in, and he was like, he was like, yo, man, like, I'm like Catholic, and like, I don't appreciate that, like, that's fucked up. Oh, I hate it. That's I hate it up. so much. That, I hate it. And so then I was suddenly like, well, I don't know, man, like, I didn't even watch him yet. <laughs> and then before I know it, he's know like, that. he's like, we're gonna do this, like, like. Open the packages. I would have been like, "Wait a minute! Yeah. What kind of Catholic yeah. wants to stab me with a butterfly knife?" <laughs> I was definitely not at this point. <laughs> okay, well, I was not. <laughs> but this is great. Continue. He just used this as a way to stir shit up, right. and so then suddenly, this guy Josias, who also went to our school, who's on the baseball team, comes in and he flies, and I have this image of him like a superhero with a frying pan, and he 
smacks Bam! him. He cold cocks him on the side of the head with a frying pan. The guy who's got the butterfly knife out. And then for the next, like, two years in their house was this, like, trophy frying pan which had a big <laughs> dent in it from the side of his head. <laughs> this is a cartoon. <laughs> it is. Well, and it's hard to respect an employer that you don't like. Uh -huh. I mean, I legitimately have been, I've quit uh, one job really un poorly is when I, I did it. Um, poorly. Well, because, the, and the manager was a giant asshole. He had a pinky ring and his name was Stu, but he had a lisp. So his name was <laughs> Stu. Stu. He's like, listen, Hi, I think Stu. you have a real negative attitude here. And I think there's life. And I'm like, I can't take you seriously. Oh, no. um, but also very dyed hair and a comb over. Well, in my head, like that guy talks about himself in the third person and it's he, always awesome. Legitimately, he did. He would hit on all these girls. He was so old and he'd hit on these girls. He'd be like, well, oh, hey, well, look at her little sexy tail. And you'd be like, stop talking. Like With his lisp and his pink earrings. <laughs> no! Horrible, no, horrible sir, thing. no! The favorite drug that I did was a Bud Light, and it was eleven dollars. <laughs> God, a f***ing cup that I had Good to wait Lord. in line for for two hours because they were out of water in the middle of the desert. So I had to chug Bud Light like my life was ending. <laughs> and I remember driving home with my brother and his uh, wife, and literally like he was so tired, we were both so tired that at one point me and Heather were like sleeping in the car, and he was screaming at us to stay awake because <laughs> he wanted us to keep him awake. So literally like we're like fading off, and he's like. Stay awake! Talk to me! <laughs> it was phenomenal. It's one of my favorite yeah. Joe stories so, of all time. What what occurred? This was like right after college. Uh, I was dating my wife and we were out late with a bunch of friends and we had been barring it up. Uh, drinking all night, just having fun. It was one of those jovial nights that you got, you're just like on the walk home, it's like a movie, everybody's just laughing, probably high-fiving and kind of like walking in front of each other. <laughs> one of those type of nights. There's like a group of like eight of us and we're all walking in the group together and I'm like, oh man, I got a fart. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> so I want to make a big moment of this fart. What I do is I, I take off sprinting, I take like six what? steps in front of the group and then I jump and I turn and I cock a cheek right at him and I let it out. But when I let it out, there wasn't a sound, but I released everything that was in my mouth. So in midair, it was, I'm the happiest I've ever been to even before I land. I was like, oh! And I am filled. I am filled to the brim with what I had earlier in the night. I totally go, mm. with a straight face, and I turn back to the group and just kind of up with me. They're like, what's up? And I look to my left across the street as a bathroom. I'm like, nothing. I got to go to the bathroom really quick. Can't you wait till we get home? No, no. We'll go do this real quick. So I waddle across the street real fast, and I get to the bar, and it's super packed. And I have to, I, I am, I am, I am 50% man, 50% at this point. And I have to walk through this bar, trying to contain it in my boxer briefs, by the way. I get to the bathroom, and then by the grace of a god, it's it's a it's a single bathroom, so it opens up, it locks. There's no stalls, there's no urinals, it's just one toilet, right? I take my pants off. Pants are clean. I'm good. It did not go through the briefs. Oh, there you go. But then I take the briefs off, which are not briefs anymore. They're a man diaper. <laughs> they did their job, and I take ten minutes to just take all the water that was available in the sink to just wash myself up. Oh, paper towels were gone. By the way, garbage can was full. People are waiting. I heard knocks. People are going to come in after me, needing to use the bathroom. They're going to smell and see this boxer brief concoction of, <laughs> of nastiness in the garbage. I'm like, I don't want that. People might recognize my face sometimes. So what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I made the decision to take the top off of the toilet, the backside. <laughs> I took it off where all the mechanisms are, and I gently placed <laughs> my boxer briefs oh my that were God. soiled into the top of the toilet. Put it back on. Left, nobody was the wiser until now. Oh. Um, somebody was the wiser no, until somebody know. found that. Oh, well, I went back like a, a day or two later and I was like, I just gotta know. And I was like, mm hmm? And they were gone and I was like, I made the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Stuff? No, I know what the fuck it is. I was having the worst day ever, and I kicked your soda because I was so angry about life. I remember this. I was like, I had no sleep, and uh, I had, I like, I fucking came into the studio, like, I think it was like stupid early, and I put my juices in, and then I think I had to move your Coke, and I was like, this has gone too far. I like, and it was like completely illogical, because I'm just like, I was out of my mind angry, and I like take it out, 
and I fucking kick it, and it made no kick sense. I Wait, gotta, so you got like a Rambo, like drew first blood type feeling out of it? Like, <laughs> that's no. what you got? And you were like, <laughs> I, like I, I'm not a person that I like to like bring my anger to people, which is why sometimes I lock myself in that room because I'm just like rough day. Maybe just play video games. And I put, I just it made no sense because I put it on the ground and I fucking kicked it, and I was like, whose coke is it? Did you see a tiny version of Drew on the ground? It wasn't even a soda. It was like, please, no, no. Then I. <laughs> well, I didn't know until after. Prince won't perform without Kim Jong Il in his yeah. dressing room. Oh. No, I'm not going up. I'm not going up. Where's Kim Jong? No, Kim Sir, Jong he's Il. on his way. I swear he'll be there by the time you start the I'm not performance. Going up till he's in my room. What if we promised you he'd be in? How about this? What if Prince, we FaceTime you? Prince has been hurt too much. Prince too many broken promises. Prince has been hurt too much. <laughs> Kim Jong Il. Are you guys big Prince fans? Prince. Yeah, he's yeah. great. He might be like a couple degrees under Michael Jackson as far as performance yeah. artist. What Former. the fuck did you just say? <laughs> Everyone knows. Yeah, but he's Prince gone now. Prince. You're alive still, Prince. I killed him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Prince! A nutty candy apple, but with Where are you spiders. gonna get all those spiders? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Why don't you come on down to <laughs> Spider Emporium down on 3rd and May? My sense. name's Thaddeus J. Spider. I've been selling spiders in my family for three generations. You need 10 pounds of spiders? No problem. You need 100 pounds of spiders? No problem. How do you get all these spiders? I'll tell you how we get all these spiders. Oh, no. We're a family of giant spiders. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's like the Bubba Gum character, but for sure. My yeah. uncle and I went rock looking ever since we were kids. And every time we lift a rock, there'd be at least three spiders. <laughs> Listen, when next time you go out rock looking, think about Thaddeus J. Spider and drop on by Spider for you down on Florida, oh, man. More spiders, more value. <laughs> oh my God. I also had like an extended, like, 10 minute conversation with Ryan Gosling. Really? Awesome. Yeah, I was doing to-go orders and he came in and he just kind of like was keeping it low key and he leaned up against the wall and I'm on the machine putting in an order and I look over and I'm like, oh cool, Ryan Gosling. And I keep mm -hmm. putting in my order because I don't like to bug mm -hmm. these people. He goes, hey, can I put a can I put a to-go order in? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, cool, um, what do you need? And he gives me his thing, da -da -da, I'm putting it in and this girl walks by us, it's on the way to the bathroom and she stops and she looks at him <laughs> and she looks at me and she looks at him and she goes, I know who you are. And he goes, what are you talking about? You're somebody, aren't you? What are you talking about? And he looks at me, and she looks at me and goes, who is he? And I go, I don't know who this guy is. And he goes, yeah, he doesn't know. I don't know. And we, st we just keep going. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, you're, you're, I think you're crazy. This, this is just a guy. This is a normal guy. He's like, yeah, I'm just a guy. And then she just does one of these things where she's like, I know you're. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're of me. So me and Ryan Gosling, we had a moment. It was very nice. You gotta stop this. This oh, is how true. you can't just make stuff. This is how religions are made. It's how Jesus did it. <laughs> just Jesus was thrifty and made stuff up. Yes. He's like, see that bread? I made it. I made it. Out of nothing, <laughs> you, pretty much. Hey, you see that bread? <laughs> I bet I could make it into more bread. And they were like, oh yeah. He was like, Why yeah. Why is he gonna tell you <laughs> All his voices are throwing me off. Jesus is like, hey, 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 yo. hey, hey, are you hey a bunch of pilots, friends. Yeah, come on. You Why don't you leopard. turn the come other in. cheek? Why don't you, huh? Don't you like wine and God? <laughs> Guys, we learned something today. Jesus was the original Fonz. <laughs> the first time I ever saw like porn on my TV uh, was the Playboy Channel, and uh, I found out that for some reason you could only uh, rent the Playboy Channel for three hours at a time, which seems like crazy. <laughs> well, it's so I like game. I was home alone all day. I planned it out. I <laughs> bought it, um, and then <laughs> I everything's going and then, Wait, Did you think and, you were gonna get away with it, or were you? Did so you I get? got away with it, which oh, is amazing. How did it not so show up I put, on a bill? I, or I put it did. I put, I, it's, <laughs> it's, I, his dad's not gonna scan dude, that bill. Oh no. Yeah, wait. Okay. Oh. It's like it's a whole thing. So, but so anyway, I VHS it. This might be the only chance yeah. I have, yeah. right? So watch it, and I'm like looking for the mail every day. Eventually, the bill comes in, and I'm like, oh shit, okay. And so I like, I'm on the internet, still slow ass 56k. I find find out how you can open up an envelope without tearing it. Oh, so, so we're do, hair using, dryer. We're using steam. Open it's it. It's like catch me if you I can, but yeah. for a porn bill. Yeah. Yes, for a porn bill. I see it there. Boom. And I'm like, oh shit. And so and so I uh, white it out. Then I copy it, 
I have a fucking typewriter. Look at you! Oh my god! I have a fucking typewriter. He's like Hardy Boys. Then, this but, shit. Then, but then I realized, oh shit, typewriter. The font doesn't work. So then I go into like word processor, and I like literally like it's like twenty tries How of trying to you? match the font. I don't know. <laughs> and then you matched it up with the bill. Very very close. Bill? Yeah, very very close. And like uh, and so I made it like several small things so that I would get yelled at for like buying Titanic and like stuff like that. Wow. Um, and then I resealed it. Got away with it. I was like, this is but like... But were you oh ever approached God. about buying Titanic or whatever it was? No, she was like, don't buy, you know, like pay-per-views without asking me. I, I was, was like, I'm sorry. Wow. Dude, you're, kind of... you're, this is like a heroic story. <laughs> well, because like... if you do a big crime, <laughs> you got to take a small hit. <laughs> That's go. how you keep it in, in the realm of reality. Otherwise, <laughs> yeah. they're going to start asking questions, making phone calls. <laughs> I went to uh, Universal Studios and they uh, they had the hat that they actually wore in the movie and you like you sit on a thing and it, and it does it. but it did it with mine it does a whole bunch of different ones it did the one where it was like hmm this one's really complicated oh! <laughs> Gryffindor and I was like yeah, yeah! yeah! I took the hat off I threw it on the ground I stomped wow, on that it that doesn't seem very Gryffindor of you no you light yeah. light lit it on fire and I ran out the door Gryffindor then I. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, mine's okay. Here we go. It's a fun story. Oh yeah. <laughs> I slept on a highway uh, in the middle of nowhere once. I, on the road. If a car would have came, I would have probably died. Slept on a highway. <laughs> what? Here we go. Here we go. So uh, my friends and I, when we were in, in high school <laughs> and when we were in college, we'd come back for the summer. We used to go to Canada. That's where we could go and be debaucherous before we were 21. So this was like our second or third trip trying to get there. It was me and my buddy Andrew, John, and Greg, and Dustin. And what we would do is we would drive through Glacier National Park and then get up to the Canadian border and go in. So we're all going. We're having a good time. We get up to the Canadian border. It's about 9 p.m. And they go, how much money do you have? We're like, well, I don't know, to go with this much in our bank accounts. So they're like, no, we're not going to let you in unless you have cold, hard cash on you. We're like, crap. So wow. the border closes at 10. So we have to go back to into Glacier National Park, and it's about a 30-minute drive to the nearest ATM. So we're doing that. We're like, we're never going to make it. We're never going to make it. We get to the ATM, get our money, drive all the way back up to the border, close. They wouldn't let us in. So we're now we're stuck in this weird, like, purgatory. We, we just got kicked out of Canada, and now we got to go back to uh, Glacier National Park, which is a... Uh, on an Indian reservation. So we go back and we're like, well, what do we do? Well, let's go into this bar. We're 19. It's so out in the middle of nowhere they just let us in. It's the type of bar where there was a dog dancing on the dance floor. <laughs> and nobody questioned. We go in, we get wasted, right? And we go back to St. Mary's, Montana, which is the closest town and the only place to stay. And we get kicked out of the town because we're too loud and rambunctious. So we have nowhere to go. We literally can't go to Canada and we're kicked out of Montana, the closest thing to Canada. Then we hear there's some girls up in a cabin. They come from around the world and they work the parks. So we're like, let's go talk to the girls in the cabins. It's 12 o'clock. We're walking up the road to this cabin on a hill and a car comes up and it's a man. He's like 50 years old and he rolls down the window. I get in the window. I'm like, where? Can you tell us where the girls are? Can you lead us to the girls? And it turns out that guy's the chaperone of this whole place. And he gets pissed. And he's like, I'm calling the tribal police. The tribal police do not deal well with white boys. So four of us are just blitzed and then we all scatter and our one sober friend that had never drank in his life that has the car and he's like what's happening <laughs> me and my friend we f we run down a an incline <laughs> oh that's God, uh, like shit. 75 degrees it's it's wood and we hide on this on this slope like trying not to fall for the next hour and we can see down on the road the highway and our friend with the car every 20 minutes would be I'm just looking for us. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. Wait, and so no Tribal cell police. phones. Yeah. No cell phones or nothing. Our, our Indian friend, Dustin, he's running around trying to find a place to hide. So he <laughs> runs up to the decorative teepee to, to lay down and sleep slash hide. There's people in it. He lies down next to the people, realizes he's laying down next to people. So he got up and ran out of there. Meanwhile, our other friend, Greg, <laughs> is hiding in a creek bed under a log. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we finally all meet our friend on the on, on the highway. We finally all get in the car. We're like, what are we gonna do? We got nowhere to stay. We can't go to Canada. We're kicked out of Montana. The tribal police are looking for us. <laughs> so we drive on and we take a right onto this road that goes out to the sign said Duck Lake, 30 miles or something. So we start driving out and then we realize we're all tired and we have nowhere to stay. So about halfway to Duck Lake, we just pull over on the side of the road. In my drunken stupor, there's five of us in this small station wagon. I'm like, I can't sleep in here. I open the door and I get out and I walk into the field. And I go back to the car and they're all in the car and they're like, there's no room. So I go, fine. And I went behind the car and I lay down on the highway and I fell asleep and I woke up alive. Don't drink.
I'm yeah. Trisha Hershberger. I'm a knitting. I'm Joe Breda. Yeah. Ballerina Joe is what mm -hmm. we call him. Guess what my first dancing role was. I'll tell you what the production was. It was okay. Little Mermaid. Oh, were you Eric? Were you Prince Eric no. Whiten? No. Were you Flounder? No. Sebastian? No. I was the preacher that married them at the very end. Oh, the With boner! boner. Yeah. Oh! I had a boner! You Sorry. decide to open a food establishment. What is it called and what would your specialty be? Hot potato. It's a potato bar. <laughs> I was going, are there sweet really potatoes good. there? There's every pound the of potato diet. Potato. <laughs> it's got hot potato. It's a fucking hot potato bar. And it's hot like potato, it. hot potato. It's a hot potato bar. Ooh, Do you have this? And I go, no. no. It's a fucking hot potato bar. What don't you understand about okay. this? Can I get chicken? No! Hot potato, hot potato. Hot <laughs> potato, hot potato. It's a potato bar. If I met myself as a kid, I'd slap the fuck out of myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, you little shit. <laughs> Wait, Crap. hold on. Question. Do you ever remember a man looking a lot like you slapping, slapping you, you on the, the side of the road? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he did so much more. He took yeah. my pants off and he took me in the back of his car. It was so hot and sweaty and I just remember not being able to breathe. And he had these hairy arms. And I remember them brushing against my bare face. Guys, and I remember there was just kind of like Steve this sweaty Steve got abducted fur. by Robin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> you get your trays at the Sbarro and you're like, yes, I'll take that pepperoni. Please, that slice that I'm pointing at. Not the one you choose, sir, because that has way too much sauce on it. That one has more cheese and I want that one. I had my tray and there were other people in line and then there was this little girl with her tray yeah, and she's like yeah. smacking her tray into mine. And I'm like, all right, s excuse me, um, please. Smack it, smack, smack, smack. Mom doesn't give a shit. So she's got her little tiny kid fingers on the other side of her tray, and I just went, mother f <laughs> Not okay. And I crushed her little fingers, and she's like, nah! Yeah, she stopped <laughs> doing it, though. She <laughs> died like a gremlin. Yeah! I just melted into a puddle. You know they're at the beginning at SVU, and they're like, well, hey, Brad, thanks so much for taking me out. I had a really great night. I had a really great night, too. God, I love the choir. Oh, my God! Like it's a body. Yeah. This bar mitzvah was amazing. I loved it. Great ceremony. Oh my god, oh a, my body. god a body! <laughs> hey, there's always a body somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Honey, I'm glad you cleaned the room. Wow. It looks very nice. Well, I love your bed. You. I know. Oh! Yes, this, uh, this book, I'd like to buy it, but there's no oh, price on really? it. Let me go scan that. Oh, body! <laughs> I'm very everywhere. excited to test drive this new car. I, I don't know about you. Yeah, let's yeah, take a look back here. Like, <laughs> oh my god, a body! <gasps> Funeral was, uh, was oh, very you. amazing. No, Dad, what a oh, love, love to have you. Oh my god, a body! Well, there should be a body. I mean, no, that makes sense. It makes sense there's a body at a funeral. Yeah. When I started nice. freshman year of high school, half my face was ripped up because I dove into the shallow end of a pool that had stucco bottom. Oh, the freshman year! Oh, God, it was awful. Man. You were all excited for high school? I was like, woo! Eighth grade was hard, but high school's <laughs> gonna be so much different. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> Where's Rachel? <laughs> Hey baby, come back to my place and I'll show you a mime having a stroke. <laughs> They're like sitting on the couch. He's like, hey, check this out. <laughs> Doors. <laughs> He's in there, please. Please call an ambulance. Please. No, he can't talk. He's a mime. Oh man. <laughs> Look, I'm dropping the mime shit. I'm in a lot of pain here. <laughs> this is a really shitty mime, Bethany. It is a shitty mime. All right. Hey baby. Oh my God, who does this? <laughs> Please, I've been in here for three days. You know what? I'm I'm leaving. You said you like was it the mine? <laughs> uh, don't go underneath the kitchen sink and play with the chemicals because oh. you'll find that scrubbing bubbles bottle and go look at those cartoons. It's a cartoon can. There's probably friends in here. And then you press it and then you fill your uh, face and your ooh. eyes with Mr. Muscle or scrubbing bubbles. And when your parents walk in on a kid that is just covered in screaming scrubbing bubbles, just... screaming, what's wrong? And it's those little guys too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> We're gonna scrub your skin off. <laughs> the revolution starts now. <laughs> this is the day we've lived for, man. <laughs> It's hilarious because it's in the commercials it's a family of yeah, so, yeah, so the yeah. mom and a dad and a sister. <laughs> like, yeah. For our brethren! Junior, you will watch us kill this man. No. Uh, <laughs> Little Maria, why are you in the battle? You're a girl, you can't fight along with us. Yes, I can! Go take care of the children. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I want to buck these societal scrubbing bubble trends. <laughs> the humans have been scrubbing us into dishes for far too long. <laughs> Uh, the power I don't want is talking to fish. <laughs> like, uh, Aquaman. Yeah, Aquaman. Who wants to talk to fish? <laughs> hey, uh, fish, wh what's going on? Swim. Yeah. Oh yeah. God damn it. Survive. Swim. Don't eat worms yeah. with wires attached Swim. to them. It's gotta be like this. Uh, the, I'm gonna find the smartest animal in the sea. I'm gonna find a whale. The whale's gotta be smart, right? there. Yeah. Yeah. Here I go. Mr. Whale, uh, wh do you have any, <laughs> any knowledge for me at all? I'm a whale. <laughs> Okay, this is what I want. I want one day to be flying around on Falcor. We're like, we just got back from San Francisco. We had a blast. And I'm like, like listen, Falcor, you know, like, I love you. Like, I think I love you. Like, I'm falling in love with you because you're so amazing. Like, I don't think I've loved like, anything. Like, you provide for me way more than my wife ever could. Ever. I would never say yeah, that to her, but, no. like, she can't fly. Yeah. She can't grant me wishes. You, you give me everything. Like, I, them, what are you like can I change you into, like, Jennifer Lawrence or something? And then you'll always yes. be Yes! <laughs> but then, it's still, he wouldn't turn into like regular size Jennifer Lawrence. He turned into <laughs> giant wooden woolly. Make love to me, Steven. <laughs> And you'd crawl inside, and inside would be a can of wonders. In there, yeah. yeah, be an apartment. I mean, you probably down. don't want to chant USA if you're on a Native American reservation. Yes. Uh, and they're teaching you the history of Native American. Yeah, they're like, and then they gave us all smallpox through these. USA! Uh, USA! USA! Yeah. You don't want to go to Hiroshima and go. Ooh, no. And be like, this is where it happened. USA! 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 I want to go to a zoo. And mm. look for a real sad animal in USA. 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 What do you think the USA. USA. I want to do it every time someone vomits. Oh, yeah. Every time someone somebody pukes. vomits somewhere. USA. 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 Even if U they puke in Brazil. That's an unfortunate situation that yes. I do not want for myself. Yeah, exactly. And right? there's ways to prevent well, it. Like, but... don't, like having sex without a yeah. condom. I don't want fucking cheese coming out of my dick. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're a terrible Ew. person. You just made a decision or you were duped. I don't know. I just know that I see that as a fucking really negative thing that Ew. I don't want in my what life. What if it's delicious, though? Hold on. What if you took the Pepsi challenge? And they're like, this is award-winning blue cheese from Italy, aged for 12 years. Oh, And this came out of God. someone's penis with an STD. Oh, my I, I, I think that breaks, like, federal and state laws. <laughs> okay. I think that's what that does. The Center for Disease Control is like, no, no. You know what's funny though? It's still when I have moments of like I'm just all over the place PMSing and upset. It helps to just put the tear on. Okay, I don't know. It does. It helps just a little. Just put it on. Feel better. This is. I am this is jokes? Here. No. Who <laughs> seriously does that? You know she does. <laughs> you know that they come home. There's little squeaks coming from the room. And you walk in and she's just all alone. She has a smear mascara. She's got the sash. Oh you, no! <laughs> and you go, uh huh, and you just rock her to sleep. Oh my her... god, that's amazing. No. Well, let's find out what it is, guys. Today's episode's brought to you by this strengthsome surprise, and we're gonna open surprise it right up. Surprise foil wrap. Find out surprise what be? it is. Oh no no no! Please, it's gonna get everywhere. Strengthsome's foil wrap was uh, got a topical cream. Don't. Go ahead and use some Don't. of this. So now what you want to do is just apply, ah! it, apply it to the wrist. No, 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 no. Right here. Once you rub it in, you'll feel like it'll just see what it's doing to your skin. You know how you're feeling right now? Bad. That's That's the foil. I feel action. bad right now. That's how the foil ew. in action. Ew. Oh my god. Ew. Right here, ew. Right here. Right here. It's, it's butter. No, this is not butter. This is called uh, bee cream. Comes from bees. Don't confuse it with D cream. Mr. Steve Zaragoza also put me on to the One Wipe Charlie's Damn right. uh, peppermint infused little towelettes for your bottom, and my butthole has never smiled wider. And also, your hand smells like peppermint once you're done. No, uh, Steve, you're supposed to wash your hands after. Yep. Well, not with One Wipe Charlie's. No, oh, you, you yeah. should still. It washes your hand for No, because there's poo particles, and you yeah, don't Yeah, but want... it's also like a disinfectant on there. I'm never going to let you hold my child ever again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Should have yeah. warned you guys. We just showed you a picture of a girl with spiders crawling out of her. Face. Well, it's not like it's a real photo. No, it's, but it's, it's really cool. God, yeah. you that. wouldn't want it to be mm. real spiders. <laughs> oh, no way, Patty. It's not around here. If you want the best face spiders, <laughs> you should come down to our Spiders <laughs> Emporium <laughs> Annex, filled with the finest face spiders, foot spiders, and toe spiders. We keep inviting Thaddeus to the poker game. All he does is self promote <sighs> all the know. time. And then I feel all like the there's time. spiders. Hey, that you guys! I looked inside of each of your cars before this game, yeah, and I didn't see a single spider in there. So I just thought I'd slip you these little coupons uh, for five dollars off uh, uh, a hundred pack I mean, of spiders. We're swimming in your spiders. Now. Listen, also, before you go, my wife said thank you for the spider basket. Yeah. Oh, she's actually going to give it well. back, yep. okay? Yep. So we've, we don't have room for it. Hey, my son doesn't need this spider trapper keeper. Um, but thank you. Yeah, thank you for the nice thought. It's very nice of you, nice. Do you know how many spiders I killed to make that spider trapper keeper? Yeah, I don't it sounds like you got en endless amounts 5, of spiders, 5,000 spiders! I'm insulted that you would even bring that up. It just doesn't sound like it's that big of a deal. Well, obviously you don't appreciate my contribution, so why don't I just go pack up my chariot and go on home? <laughs> Uh, I have another VidCon story. <laughs> Bowman, uh, Peter Gilroy, and Tyler Phillips of the Bath Boys. Those three got obliterated, and they end up coming back to the hotel. And it's a dangerous situation, man. Those guys yeah. are like... They I just have fun. They're just unhinged. And yeah. they go back to the hotel, and I see them in the hotel bathroom, the public bathroom. And it's the first time I see them. It's the first time they see me at VidCon together. Oh, so no. I see them, and I just start singing a song. I'm like, it's Tyler Phillips, Peter Gilroy, Matthew Bowman, and we're in the bathroom, and jumping. And then we all start yelling, jumping, and jumping, and jumping, and jumping, <laughs> we're jumping, we're jumping, you're jumping, Peter's jumping, Tyler's jumping. We're jumping. We all just get in unison and we get louder and louder. And then this 83 year old security guard comes in and goes, Hey! I will arrest all of you right now! And Bowman goes, For jumping? <laughs> we all laugh and then we just scatter. One of my most vivid memories right is literally a, a crazy old lady coming up and she had no two bottom teeth. Like she had two, just two, the, these bottom teeth. And she came up and some guy was like yelling and she comes and follows him and goes, he's crazy. <laughs> he's crazy. crazy. And I was like, I love her. Cause she just had no teeth and was like, he's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. He's crazy. And I was like, yep. That's who I'm going to be when I grow up. Yep. Awesome. Trish, I'm gonna sing this song while I lay down in this chair. The song is gonna mostly be about a baby bear. Oh. The bear ate honey, the bear ate bees, the bear ate a boy, and the bear ate a tree, and then he <laughs> ate a car, and then he killed a man. He stabbed a baby, then he fucked a dad. He's not afraid to fuck a man in the butt. Going to town and fuck shit up, yeah, he's a bear. car with a buddy he, he would like just go 90 all the time unless he saw a cop and then it was his rule to just go the same speed as the cop except that the cop that he was doing it to pulled off into a rest stop and all of a sudden we're on the highway going 10 miles an hour and the cop looks over at us we look over at him and I was just like fuck <laughs> and then my buddy speeds off cop follows us and then we pull off and he pulls his gun on us I was just like oh god it's you, over you it's over <laughs> are you following me <laughs> are you so following me contrary to popular belief just because I have a gun it doesn't make me a big scary tough man I have feelings and emotions and you scared me you scared me Enjoy your evening! <laughs> there with you, oh buddy. my god, oh. what if you're pregnant? I'd, no. I'd be really happy. I'd be stressed, but I'd be really happy. Yeah. Wait, are you keeping something from us? Yeah. No. no. Joe, you have been glowing lately. I know, he Stop has, it. right? You guys. Hey. Well, let's just move on to the next one. Wait. Uh, uh, no, Joe, we're not doing we can't this. gloss over let's this. Hey. No. Do you want to make wanna, an announcement, Joe? Do you want to make an announcement? No. Why don't you make it official? I'm not ready. He's not ready. Oh, he's not ready. Okay, Joe's having a baby. Oh, it was kind of, guys. and it was really um, before they had to CG Hello? <laughs> Is that a cricket? <laughs> oh. Yes. Hi, cricket. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> He's just freaking out. And there's a cricket with its leg off in front of him, and there's like blood everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, calm down, it's fine.
doing? I'll help you hide the body. I've got a, I've got look, a high seat container right we can just dump him in. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, we just crush him in my Nintendo it's Power magazine. It's fun. Hooker? No one will ever find him. It's a cricket hooker laying in bed, <laughs> dead. And he's got the like the broken leg, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he's just got a little powder under his nose. Yeah, he's a, there's a little thimble with vodka in it. <laughs> with a little vodka in it. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got in a, a matchbox man. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's got a stained tank top and his yeah. belly's hanging out. Hanging out. <laughs> he's got pictures of when he was a football star in his local cricket high school. Yeah. His trophies are up there. <laughs> Over to find out who murdered my husband. He just fumbled around with a vase for five seconds, <coughs> coughed a lot, and then did not know how to smoke out of his pipe to save his life. You got a bathroom? He went into my bathroom. Mm -hmm. He tore out all the perfume samples from the magazine, rubbed oh. them all over himself. He smelled disgusting. Mm -hmm. And then he left me what was called a treat in the toilet. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. I think he should no longer work for Scotland Yard. Ma'am, he doesn't work for Scotland Yard. Okay. He works with Scotland okay. Yard. I'll find He's it. still adjacent. I'll find this man He's and I'll take him down. He's a consulting detective. when I was just learning to drive. I first had Road Rage Andre the Giant, and so what I mean by this is I have a wrestling figure that lives in my car. So when people really piss me off while I'm driving, instead of flipping them off or like yelling out the window or something, I just calm, calm face, hold up a wrestling figure at them. Because inevitably your wrestling <laughs> figures have very angry faces. They're like, Argh! I'm channeling all my anger through them while I'm driving. It can be the people behind me too. It doesn't matter. So this person's all mad. They're expecting me to flip them off. Like they're ready to have like, I don't know, pull over and have a knife fight or something. Cause it's LA, you don't know. Um, and then they see a wrestling figure. Then they just laugh. All the anger is dispelled. Everybody's okay. Unless I could go to Mexico and in, in a year's time become a drug lord. So, oh, white girl, you oh, want to come girl. take over our cocaine I'd be called, business? Like, Blanco Diablo. <gasps> Blanco Diablo. Blanco Diablo. Vamanos, es Blanco Diablo. No. And you'd show up on a motorcycle with a big fat stogie. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <laughs> oh, she has she has the inflamed lung, but we are still afraid of her. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, Blanco Diablo, I cannot replace your lung again. You you have replaced it just seven times already. <laughs> okay, you just handed me a salad gold just bar. This is amazing. It. My family will live you forever. You do not want to do it. Do you know how to play American basketball? Why are you speaking in that accent? <laughs> you're not you're not very know. white. That's a whole illusion. I can't be like, so Blanco Diablo, oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cut your family. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Guys, I've had four coconut waters today and I am like a river. <laughs> Let's get this drugs done. Yeah, I was thinking about Dead. like in Back to the Future, if Marty and Doc are like, all right, Marty, we're going into 2015, let's oh, go! No, and then it's just, <laughs> come on, shut up, Marty, you idiot, let's go! You're a dumb brat, you annoy me. Why are you bringing let's me go. along? 88 miles, because I'm lonely! <laughs> and then they go back in time, and then they just end in space, and he's just like, oh shit, Marty, there's no oxygen in the fucking car. <laughs> Bro, we all got, we're dying, Marty. Oh, fuck, Marty. Fuck, I love you, Marty. Oh, Doc. Oh, I miss you, Marty. <laughs> shit, I miss you. In, you like bust into the house, you're like, guys, I got the ultimate wish to get any piece of technology that I ever wanted. Oh my god, do you have a time machine? No. Wait, got, do, you, do you have well, the TARDIS? No, you got the portal gun? You got the portal gun? You got the sky hook? You need a power glove? I got the freaking makeup gun that gives me David Bowie eyes. Wait, what? I'm awesome! Wait, what, what did you get? Look at my eyes! You could have saved the world, man. That is Jay Spider's new enemy is a cockroach! Cesar Cucaracha. <laughs> Yes. It's just yes. Steve. Yes. It's just Steve. It's He's a cockroach Steve. emporium. They're just on opposite sides of the street <laughs> battling for yeah. business. I you use don't want any of those fucking you, you want these cockroaches! Come over to Caesar's cockroach emporium. It's just a more resilient product. It's the problem. <laughs> the thing they was, can last through a nuclear apocalypse. <laughs> they were friends growing up, but then they had competing business plans, and yeah. there was a girl. <laughs> he stole my idea and my woman. <laughs> Miss Moth, if you out there, Miss Moth, Ms. I still Moth. love you. She's Come back to me, she's sweetheart. She's not the Moth you he, fell in love with anymore. She's a drug addict, she's broken. He used her up and he spat her back out. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I mean, Hitler that can control dildos <laughs> and has an orgasm ray. Unstoppable! <laughs> Unstoppable! Because I'll tell you how. He's no, he's controlling the dildos to knock the fuck out of people, go into assholes and out of mouths. Owie. It's like the fucking whistle thing in Guardians of the Galaxy that that guy has. <laughs> he's just whistling and dildos are going everywhere through people's bodies. And he's making them have orgasms. Uh, <laughs> anyone, yeah, anyone that's like about to kill him, he's just boom, <laughs> orgasm. They're like, uh, uh. <laughs> Right, Sam? I was hanging out in my pool mm -hmm. at uh, where I live and- No, hold on, I, let me grab my golden goblet. <laughs> so I got stung by a bee and I kind of freaked out a little bit. And there was a woman who lives in the complex who's like, are you okay? And I was like, I got stung by a bee. And she was like, hold on, I'll go get you some garlic. <laughs> and she ran up and she got some garlic and she put a little, like, she rubbed some garlic on the bee sting yeah. and then she stuck a Band-Aid on it and then she said, thinner. And then she went back into her house. And I've been losing weight real fast. Hi, this is Megan from 1900 Blowies. This is a service where we call up places and we make sexy calls. Now someone there, and they wish to remain anonymous, they wanted me to call in and have a sexy call. We could talk about whatever you want. I know it's a place of business, but it's not weird. It's not weird to have a place of business that needs can these you, calls. Can you hold on? I'm kind of in the dining room, and I'm having a hard time here. Just hold on. Just That's hold fine, on. honey. Please kiss me when you come back. Hi, this is Bill. Have you been helped? I'm sorry. I was speaking with Jeff. Is Jeff there? Yeah, hang on just a second. Let Thank me you, my <laughs> sweetie. Kiss me when you come back. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this Jeff? Yes. I need to speak with Philip, please. Philip? There is nobody here by that name. It's the, the man that was just on the line said his name was Phil. No, that was me. You were Jeff? I am Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, can I speak to Jeff, please? You are. Okay, listen. Jeff, someone asked earlier for me to call you and have a sexy call with you. We can talk about kisses. We can talk about hugs. We can talk about your family. Whatever you want. It's a free service. Somebody paid for it already. It's all anonymous. Well, can I just talk about your dad? God <laughs> The hill story reminds me of a time I went sledding with a bunch of friends, and then we were yes. going down a hill, and this girl named Brittany, who was uh, really cute and I had a crush on. Mm, Brittany. It's, it's always a Brittany. Oh, this is the day that I Funnies. stopped having such a crush on Brittany because we were going down the driveway <gasps> on sleds, and we're all having a good time. <laughs> Yay! People have their dogs, and they're running down and chasing That's us on the sleds time. and stuff. We're trudging back up the hill. We're laughing. It's great. And then Brittany goes down, and the dog is running right next to her, and she finally gets to the end, and she goes, Oh, no! And we're like, what? And she goes, the dog! And we're like, what happened? <laughs> it was running next to me! And I put my hand out and my finger went on its butt! <laughs> I love that that's what made you not have a I know, it's like, ew, I don't like I'm not gonna date butthole Britney, no way! <laughs> I would've been like, I'll date butthole Britney. <laughs> she might be fun. <laughs> My fight was fun. It was like the best adrenaline rush ever. It was a girl. I was in middle school, and I pushed her up against the fence. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. girl. And then I punched her in the back of the head. That's a hard spot. I know. That's a, that's a cheap shot. You know what? You sucker punched her. I, I think, I think that Reyna ah! can win every video game we play against each yeah. other from now on. Good I'm thing I'm on that. her team. What are you doing to prepare for the end of the world? I don't know, like it always breaks down into like, every woman can be raped and mm. everyone has a shotgun. I fucking dare you try to rape me. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking dare you. She's not even talking about the apocalypse. She, this is how she opens up dates. <laughs> I'm, I'm a strong lady. I don't even try to rape. <laughs> oh my god. So uh, I'm hanging out with Danny in the, in the apocalypse situation. I will make sure you won't get me yeah. too. I'll be like, no. Your butthole is safe, Philip DeFranco. Your butthole is safe with me. Uh, I would wear goggles, and when I was like 12, I'd go with my friend. And we would uh, search under the pool for money. Mm -hmm. And we like found, you know, like probably over the course of the day, like 25 bucks. It's not but bad. Once, while I was doing this, I looked up. And there was a guy and a girl next to each other in the wave pool, and he had his hand in her under. Oh, part. she well, okay she with was, it? No, they were both into it, and I was like, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> "Hey, you need to go up for air, Hank. You're gonna die. <laughs> hey, you can touch 
that someday. Not, no, Hank. Hey, hey. It's not as it's good, but it's not as good as you think. Hank, hey, you're going to die. I don't want this to be my worst water park memory. How are you talking underwater like that? <laughs> I saw, and it was probably one of the funniest things ever, this blasted drunk girl got on it. She's already wearing a skirt that was like, oh, no, you can't ride the bull. But she was like, I want to get on the bull. So then she that. gets on the bull, and she was not holding on, and she flies up, and then proceeds to upside down. Like, she is topsy-turvy, fully exposed, like butt underwear. And then we're like, oh, no. And we're like, someone get her up. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just like, did I do it? Lazy Nevins mm. is my favorite vaudeville <laughs> actor. And now cover to the stage, Lazy, Lazy Nevins! Nevins. <laughs> oh, you're, that, that's before. Ah, nubba, 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 hell, I nubba, see why nubba, Lazy nubba, Nubbins nubba. is such a hit. <laughs> so. Nubba, 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 <laughs> nubba, nubba, <laughs> nubba, no, nubba, 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 nubba. And he would do that for 35 minutes and the crowd loved it. Woo! Loved it. It never got old. I love old. you, Nubbins! People were passing out. They were so into it. My God, it. how is he so sexy? I went to Catholic school. So we were like studying the Bible. We would like read little parts of the Bible yeah, yeah. here and there. We were starting from the beginning. We're like in fourth or fifth grade or something. Yeah. My brother is like way deeper into the Bible. And I remember at one point I was hanging out with him and his older friends and they were talking about the book of Revelations. Oh. And in the book of Revelations, like all oh, this really fucked up shit, shit happens. Happen. So anyway, I went to school <laughs> the next day and I remember telling the kids in class, guys, at the end of the Bible, there's like this crazy like apocalypse and everybody dies and there's monsters and ghosts and like demons and the ocean turns into blood and like all these kids were freaking the fuck out yeah, it's a and big everyone deal. starts freaking out and so my teacher was like hold on a second what's going on over here and I was like I'm just telling you about the book of revelations and how like what happens and oh, they were like no. oh, uh, um, oh uh. so they it's took me out into the hallway and they were like <laughs> You know, the book of Revelations is kind of scary, but Jesus this and God that and, you know, religion, blah, blah, blah. But what happened was I scared the shit out of everybody yeah. in class and maybe even uh, caused a couple of people to rethink their That's... religious thoughts, huh? Wow. What are these? What are these, Tom? What are these? They're, They're nothing. I just I keep them in my it's trunk. It's a because... bag with a whole bunch of bags in it, Tom. This because, look, I'm, I keep Honey. them in the trunk of my car so I can put my groceries in them. No. I think our son is bagging. He's bagging. I'm not bagging. I'm just... You're bagging. I'm done. I don't make enough money mowing the lawn to buy a bag every time I buy groceries. He's also got a That's dildo. The... He's dildo <laughs> bagging. Dildo bagging. We have created the world's most disgusting snack. What? Eat him it when doesn't. You want it him. doesn't get any grosser than what we've but, made. And eat them when you want them. Eat them when you want them. It didn't work. So look, okay. we're gonna add nauseating, vomit-sounding burps <laughs> to our disgusting snack commercial. Well, hey, um, excuse me, sir. Not what? Uh, First just... of all, you don't have a gobble stick in your hand. Nope. Get that honey in there. I want you to eat that honey. Uh, sir, please, do I have to dip it in honey? Dip it in honey! Ow. Mm, I, wish, mm. I wish I was you. I wish I was you right now. Mm. Where's my wiggler? <laughs> I was in the cheese aisle, like you are. And uh, who walks down but like Star right Lord now. himself, Chris Pratt? The best kind of cheese. Beef and cheese. <laughs> God, is he beefy? Mm -hmm. He's still so beefy, I could crawl inside him. Oh my God, I was like, you're so amazing. You did such a great job of him. He was like, thank you so much, I'm Chris. And I was like, I'm Lee, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then when I was in the checkout aisle, he was like, Lee, I'm following you. And like came up and we had a conversation about how he can't drink beer anymore and how he was making dove and what's what's making he, dove? he killed dove over the weekend and Wait, multiple doves like multiple he went doves. hunting he went hunting he oh. murdered it and he was going to cook dove oh Why? of course he did because he's a man really is that cool. where gossiping originated i don't know mm. probably or roman times was that the first TNG? Did you hear the Persephone? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Mephistopheles did not go to the arena the oh, other day. Oh, you don't None of it matters. We're all going to die when we're 23. Hey, are we wearing sheets? Yes, we are. <laughs> and I don't shave my boosh. <laughs> they were like, uh, guy, I got a hair in my mouth. 
<laughs> it's the worst. You want to see that in every movie ever. Right? Where it's like the speeches. You no, know I love you so much. Oh, oh my God. Shit. Your hair. <laughs> oh, it's getting there. It's in there. You want to know who I am? You sure you want it? Oh, just hold on, Mary Jane. Uh, hold, on. Uh, hold, on. hold on. Hold on. Oh, Obi-Wan never told you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and it's shit. I got a hair. Are you talking to me? Are you? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Fucking, what is this shit? A oh, hell! Mr. Wayne, I didn't know what would break first, your body? Oh, shoot. It's just... <laughs> Whose hair is this? I don't have any hair. I did have one weird thing, and you made me think of it with that, is that growing up, for like when I started dating, uh, I really liked dating for just like a Tampons. week or so. I'm a charming guy, we get attached like real quick, and then at the one week mark, when they were least expecting it, I would break up with them. And almost every single time, they'd go, <gasps> and I would take that sigh, and I would put it in my pocket. I collected so many sighs over time. That man sounds like a crazy man. <laughs> So I went to the fridge do, 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 do. And I got me some bread do, 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 do. Then I got me some beer do, 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 do. Then I got mayo instead do, 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 do. Then I sputtered that bread do, 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 do. Then I put it all together ha, 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 ha. Then I looked at it and said do, 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 do. This is the best sandwich ever do, 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 do. This is the best sandwich ever do, 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 do. This is the best sandwich ever do, 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 do. You wanna have a go at an ass track? No, I'm not ready to try the ass track. Well, call okay. me when you are. What is it? Have you done it? <laughs> Look, you have to come to the ass try room. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in ass try room stays in ass try room. Sure well, does. Does it cost any money? Come into my room. <laughs> It'll take time. How long? A time. <laughs> well, like, I have to, I can't be in there all day. Is it an all day thing? It happens during the day. I gotta not be anywhere near this. There's an exit. Can I go there and talk to the people that come out? Maybe. Point to me where the exit is. <laughs> You're an asshole. Last try. Last <laughs> try. I legitimately fell in love at the first day of kindergarten class. Her name was Jordan. I walked into the room. The world slowed down when she hit the chalk erasers together. Like, the rest of the world didn't matter. My education didn't matter. Snack time didn't matter. All that matters is that wow. I was laying next to that girl during nap time. Didn't understand why, but I was like, I want her to be part of my world. The best day was when I walked into class and I was a little bit late and I was the last one in. And I was like, oh, where am I sitting? And Jordan goes, you're sitting right here. And oh, right next yeah. to her. Yeah. And I was like, yes. Uh, the last day of school, it was just me and Jordan sitting there talking about our futures together. And she broke my heart and she told me she was gonna be going to the other school because she lived far away. Yeah. I felt my little, my little kindergarten heart fall into a bunch of geometric pieces that I learned that year. Three it was such ago. an intense feeling. I got over it though, and then I fell in love with a girl in second grade that could do a backflip and she played baseball. There's spiders. There's space spiders. Space, space spiders. Spiders from the moon. <laughs> you know, the most popular kind of spider nowadays in the future is the giant space spider. I admire them for their tenacity and for their gamey flavor. How do you catch them? Well, first of all, you look under a moon rock, and then moon rocks better be big because they're gigantic space Wait, spiders. Wait, so when you get the spiders, you eat them? Oh yeah, I eat them. I eat them right up. Some people call it cannibalism. I just call it good eating. <laughs> Don't you think you should maybe have science take care of those spiders instead of just eating them? Like, we should probably study those Boy, spiders. Boy, who you been talking to? <laughs> you been talking to some scientist? I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. No, I just Don't think Don't make that... me kick you off my spider plantation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that would be awful. Yeah. She came into my office like a bullet going 12,000 miles per hour. Are you the hand drop detector? I sure am, little miss. Great. Can you tell me who's given me a hand drop recently? Well, I can tell you anything you want, but first... A hand drop? <laughs> Damn right. Your cigarette's not lit. Nope. <laughs> the commissioner's on the horn. He says there's a hand job on the loose and someone needs to catch him. Oh, no! Listen, I gave you one job and one real simple one. A hand. A hand. <laughs>
<laughs> Trisha, do you know dick crystals? Do you know about dick crystals? <laughs> no. I remember this this book where it show you like all the different STDs, and I swear there was one that had like crystals. <laughs> They were like little crystals, like little hardened, like like rock sugar. Yeah, it was candy. almost like deposited Put on crystals. Your dinker. And I hear if you grind it up and you snort it, Steve. it's the best. You're a fucking liar, it's Steve. The best. You, you sound like fucking Regis <laughs> Philbin when he came in. Have you heard about dick crystals? No. It's the latest rage. Kids are wearing dick crystals all over the place, around their necks and their ears. Let's so cut to a commercial. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I was wondering if you guys had horsey sauce because I've been around to four different Arby's and everywhere seems to be out of it. Uh, yes, well, um, we no longer have it in our store right now. What? Yes. When did that happen? You guys can sell that stuff like crazy, you know. Yeah. So you do have the packets of horsey sauce? Yes, Is it up to me to get 60 packets? How many? 60, six zero. Oh. Say I come six different times asking for ten horsey packets. Can that happen? Well, yeah, that'll help. Okay. All right. You've been very helpful. Okay, thank you. You're thank welcome. You. I love you. All right. <laughs> I used to uh, work for Kids WB, and I did this thing where I I was in a land of puppets. So there were all of these like puppets surrounding me and puppeteers down at butt level. <laughs> And I was having a particularly not great stomach day. I was boiling up something real good in there. I tried so hard not to do it, and they were just like, come on, we're almost done, you know, two more two more takes, let's do it. And uh, I just, you ever get those really bad parts that like, you let out just the tiniest little, just by accident, and it turns out to be the stinkiest, nastiest, foulest fart ever. Like, I was like, no one's gonna smell that. And then it caught my nose, and I felt so bad. And I looked down at the puppeteers, and all I could see was their, their hands up like this, and they look up at me like. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you have resting bitch face. Yeah, I so do I. Like, like if we're sitting talk, in a meeting or something, talk, and it could be like, you're great, you're great, mm -hmm. you're great. I'm the guy that's in the meeting. Just, just like, like this. <laughs> yeah. And it's weird because like higher ups get very unnerved mm -hmm. by it. And so they'll be like, anyway, like, Joe, you okay? Yeah, um, it's great. Yeah. Good job. I mean, I love what you guys have done. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anything, like if you want to add anything, like this is the time, feel free. Oh, yeah. Go I mean, on. I could do a speech. I could, I could get everybody going, but you guys are doing fine. Okay. Do you need a number to call? <laughs> I want to see you do a sketch with Kermit the Frog where you're married to him and you're mad at him. Okay. There. I want you to do that. Kermit, you didn't take out the trash again. Well, well, you know. Right, right. How many times do I have to ask you to unload the dishwasher, Kermit? Well, you know, my arms are really small because I'm a puppet. Kermit, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it, Kermit. Excuses. I've asked you for three days. I'm going to my mother's house and not coming back. I don't know how to Kermit talk. <laughs> I don't know how to Kermit talk either. <laughs> A lot of the scary things in the movie is like a dude is in the room. Which would be scary if like I was hanging out at your house and we were watching a movie and there's and all a, of a sudden there's a dude, a dude in the room. room. And it's not like a scary dude, it's like right. just like some dude texting. Dude. Right. I'd be dude. like, do you Could see you that imagine room? if we went to dude, the movie the theater room. and it was just dude. me and you and then we realized there's a dude in the there's theater? There's a dude in the room. I'd be like, hey Steve, when that dude get in the room? Dude, 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 I don't know if that'd be room. terrifying. What if you were taking a shower? Dude. Oh, if I was taking dude, a shower, I mean, there was a dude, dude in the room. Dude, I'm gonna be honest. I might have to finish washing, dude, and I'd be like, "Hey, dude, dude what are you doing in this room?" Yeah, dude, I didn't dude, invite you in this dude, room, dude. dude. My first car was uh, it was my mom's car. It was a the Volvo XC90, the Volvo SUV. Uh. The first time I ever took it out, I was going to Blockbuster to pick up a video game, and I was pulling out of the parking lot, and I didn't look behind me and I hit a laundry delivery van. Oh. I get out of that car and my heart's going a mile a minute and this guy gets out and he's like, what the fuck, man? And I'm, and I'm like, they will never let me drive again, please, please. And he like, he looks at me and he looks at the truck and there's not a lot of damage. It's just like a little dented. He's like, yeah, okay, kid, go. Whoa. At first he's like, oh, and then he's like, oh. I remember when I was a kid and my parents didn't let me ever drive, <laughs> and that's why I'm driving a laundry delivery van in my 50s. 
My first concert ever was a Marilyn Manson concert. It was really, really hardcore, and I got to dress really crazy goth. I even spiked up my hair, so my hair was like this tall. I was I 13, think I think. What happened was, it was my friend's birthday, and he brought us all to this concert in Sayreville, New Jersey. I was excited about it, I loved Marilyn Manson, and I got crowd surfed towards the front, and it was incredible. I got thrown right off in front of the stage or whatever, but this was the time where he was putting water in his mouth, and then he started spitting on everybody. Why would you go to this? He spit on me, and that was, uh, I wanted to like it, but I was so grossed out by it that I was like, oh, shit! And then um, I snaked my way back towards the, the back of the area where it was a little bit less crowded. God. All of a sudden, I couldn't breathe because there were so many people just, like, rumbling around me that my friend, he had to come running and get me, and he's, like, a pretty big dude, so he had to, like, pummel people around, grab me, and drag me out like this. Oh, my God. And, and when I came out, I was, like, crying and hyperventilating. <laughs> Was that the, was that you just said? I didn't fuck. hear. Oh, that could fuck. Be. I said fuck. No, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. you fuck, said... you're right. Shit, fuck, fuck. You want to try saying it? Oh no, thank fuck. you. Fuck. Let me see. Let me see how your tongue goes when you say this. Fuck. Oh, okay. Fuck. It pretty much stays in place. All right, let's stop this. Okay. It was my summer after my freshman year of college. I was doing landscaping work on a golf course in Columbia Falls, Montana. I would get there at six in the morning and I would just mow fairways and roughs. So all you could do is listen to music. And I got really into Michael Jackson's history album. Yeah, it's great. And mm -hmm. Human Nature, one of his older ones, was on. Why? There. Why? Doing that is human nature. Why? So uh, as I was sitting there, I had a moment that riff comes on. To tell him why? 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 First time I ever heard the song, I thought he sang. Tell him why, why? Tell him that it's you and me, Joe. Why? I just picture you like, like and I Jay's stopped talking it. to you. I, I stopped the lawnmower, rewound it, listened to it again, and then for six years I thought he was singing to me. I just Get got a it? great idea like, for a shirt. There's like a duck, okay? okay? It's like anthropomorphic, it's like standing okay. up, it's got legs okay. and arms, and it's like wearing like a bathrobe, okay, okay? Okay. Okay. And it's got like slippers on. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah, yeah. And like in. maybe like curlers in yeah, its hair okay, too. Okay, okay. And it looks kind of tired, a little okay. sleepy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, it's holding a mug. mug. Oh, I know where you're of going. A coffee, with this. maybe. Uh huh. And, and it just looks like, I mean, it just it looks like, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you look in the mirror, yeah. that's kind of what you does, look like. Does the caption say, Where the duck is my coffee? No, oh, but that's, that's great. Really that's great. I was going to say, all it says is, not before my morning coffee. Oh, I do like that as well. What do you think? I think. Could I sell that? I In think, the 80s, yes. I think can. it's been done. Oh, no. I'm sorry. So my daughter Hayden went to a magic show, and she came back really excited about seeing a trick. So she's like, Daddy, get me two cups that are not see-through. And I did. I got them from the cupboard, and I gave them to her. I was like, what's going on? And then she took two crayons, and she put them under the cups. And she goes, Daddy, watch. And she, she closes her eyes, and she does this. <laughs> And she opens them up, and then she's like, look, Daddy. And then she lifted the cup, and the crayons didn't move. And she goes, I'm not magic. <laughs> and I go, oh, no, maybe you didn't believe hard enough. So do it again, but do it longer for like 20 seconds. And she did. She put the crayons under it. And while she's closing her eyes and doing this really hard, I quietly went over to the cups, and I lifted them up, and I moved it, and then put them back down. And she, she goes, OK, Alakazam. She lifts it, and she's like, Daddy, I did it. I did magic. And she ran to Mommy. She's like, Mommy, 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 come watch my trick. And I'm like, oh, God, I got to do this for the rest of my life. It's the worst thing ever. <laughs> so I didn't do it again. I said, look, you used too much magic last time. There's only so much magic in the air every night. So then she, she gets frustrated, and she goes and picks up a pen and paper. And she comes back five minutes later, and she's got a letter to Santa. <laughs> she goes, dear Santa, next year for Christmas, I want magical powers <laughs> and an iPad. <laughs> so I'm buying my daughter an iPad. <laughs> What was the one time you actually thought you were going to die? I can say three right off the top of my head, and they all revolve around one kid that I was growing up with. Uh, his name was Matt Cuff. The first time we went and snuck on a, a floating trampoline in a lake at like two in the morning at somebody's private property, jumping on it. Turns out lake trampolines aren't that fun, so we swam underneath it. Somehow I got disoriented just swimming to the middle open part, and I came up right in the middle of mm -hmm. the section, and I didn't know which way to go, so I started going this way, losing my breath, and it was still above me, so I freaked out and returned and started going the other way. Did that like three times, about to, I was about to lose my breath, and I finally came up, so that's when I almost died, number one. Wow. Two, we're on a mountain pass going camping up in the Hungry Horse Reservoir. Matt Cuff was driving, and it turned into a gravel road, and he was going way too fast. We lose control, and we start sliding, and our car stopped right like this 
and right below where my window would have hit was a jagged tree stump about this wide, sticking straight up, would have slammed right into my face. Oh my God. Third time Matt Cuff almost killed me. We were camping at the spot that we finally got to and he brought his paintball gun and out of nowhere he's like, ha ha, he lifts it up and he shoots it at me. But it turned out he there was a rock in the barrel. Oh my God. Blew past my head, broke a window. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Ma'am, do you want to sing about your new wallet? Here's a song about a wallet. It's a new black wallet. And it opens and holds all my things. And that makes me like it because they are organized. And I love being organized. And it also holds things that I don't want to show you. Like, what are you talking about? Are you talking about condoms? Oh my God. Oh my God. You guys want to talk about my butt for a while? It's, it's like a... Was it like two cheeks? You guys uh, want to vividly describe my butt? A little bit of crack in there. Yeah, a little bit of crack. Definitely some fuzz. Oh, okay. got you, some super you guys are just talking butt. about any butt right now, but like, talk about my butt. Your butt is, it's round, yeah, and it's then got it, like, it has some fuzz on it. Aren't there legs? There's legs. There's legs for Can sure. Can you guys talk about my butt in complete sentences, please? Joe has a butt, butt. that looks like a right. Butt. Thank you. William Haynes would be my sidekick. Like if I was tied up and the villains were like about to kill me and I could see him up there, you know how like in Batman he could count on Robin to be like, fuck yeah, Robin's gonna save me right now. <laughs> Will would be like, I, I don't know, I'm like I'm gonna hang, hold on, let me think of something really quick. And be like, Will, come on, fuck Will, please! I'm gonna die! And then finally the villains would notice he's up there and he'd be like, hey, you guys, <laughs> Stop it! That's my friend Steve! And the villain would be like, get that guy! <laughs> and they'd get him, and then seconds later he'd be tied and up next to me and we'd be dead. I'm so jealous that of my kids. I want that again. Let's I want a giant you know human that? being to just freaking toss me into water. That sounds fantastic! We should start a service for adults. We can get like bodybuilder guys yeah. to be like new daddy or something. <laughs> what we could call like Dad Inc or something. Yeah. Like Dad Incorporated. And it's like we can do things that dad used to do for you when you were a baby. We'll throw you around. We'll push you on the swing. And then if you want, this could also, if you want to relive your past, maybe you can call up one of our dads. He'll come to your house. He'll <laughs> sit down. You come into your room at four in the morning. Say, hey, daddy's going to go on a trip. And then you'll never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Marquez writes, if you jump and land a hit at the same time, you get a critical hit for more damage. <laughs> What's that, Thaddeus? What? No, I, I've never been with a spider before. What? I'm pretty? Stop it. No, stop it. Stop. Please. No, I, I said no. The most memorable time I have fallen down was I was in a big ol' hurry because it was when I was an intern here. It was during winter and uh, there was just a little bit of ice outside. Yeah, so it was like a nice ice. layer of ice and we had a really steep driveway where I was living at the time and I had a bagel that I just made. I had my uh, iPad here. I was Anybody who holds anything this? like this deserves the fall. Big ol' thick thing of ice. I slipped, <laughs> fell, had a huge bruise oh. on my tailbone. Oh. The bagel was like ruined, but I was like, you know what? I made this. No! You deserved a fall. Chicken! Yeah? Apparently you've been going through some heartache. Yeah. So it turns out your mother just got out of a coma. Yeah. <laughs> oh god! You feel left alone? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to look me in the eyes when you say that? Yeah. Look at me! Chicken! Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> okay. But I think I love you. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> If you were an ice cream flavor, what would you be? Are we on a dating show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Contestant number two. Oh, I'd be whatever flavor's in your mouth, baby. That's right. Oh. You know? I'd be the one most likely to turn you on. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'd start off real soft and melt oh. in your mouth, but I got a bunch of hard pieces in me too. Oh. Don't choke. Ow! Oh, don't choke. Uh, I just so happen to be lactose intolerant. <laughs> uh, I don't think that I. It would be any particular flavor, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I choose contestant number three. He seems really fun. And oh my god! Somebody that I've never really uh, been with before. Oh my god! 
Oh my god, he's listen to him. He just he's got such golden tone. Oh my god! I don't even want to hear one in two anymore. Did that work? A woman really wants it. Oh. <laughs> In college, I was an intern at an investment bank. And the first week, you have orientation where someone from every single position in the investment <laughs> bank comes and tells you what they do to get you excited about maybe working <laughs> with them. And literally in the middle of it, there's like 200 people sitting watching this thing, and I'm in the middle of a row, and my nose starts bleeding. Yes. Furiously. Someone's in the middle of talking, I just have to go, excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, as blood is streaming out of my nose. Everyone is like watching me go like, what the fuck? And like, my shirt is just drenched in blood. So I'm just sitting there Wait. watching all these presentations. All these people are coming in. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna rock it with this presentation. Yeah. And they walk in and there's just a dude just covered in blood. I was at my friend's 21st birthday in uh, Vegas, and uh, he was uh, doing some stupid shit in front of a window. And uh, he, when he gets drunk, he likes to do uh, parkour. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's always funny. Uh, so he was uh, climbing on some uh, shelves and his pant got caught on the cabinet door and he jumped off the side of the cabinet and, <laughs> and wow. it cut it open. Oh. And he was like, haha, that's funny. But then we we're like, oh shit. He had cut open his leg. <gasps> the party still went on. Oh, oh, Vegas, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Helicopter and see the entire Good world. For you. Oh it man, would be... but you'd be like an organic helicopter, so if someone shot you, you'd start. Oh! <laughs> 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 coming out of the. No! Could you imagine that? God, my skin! Oil Which... coming out of your tank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? Why? No, don't! Just please put me down! And my... <laughs> oh god, I can feel the folds of skin chafe as my blade spin! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love Benedict Cumberbatch, but he kind of looks like a snake. Christoph Waltz also kind of looks like a little, like, Cheshire cat. What Get animal snake. do you look like? Let us know in the comments, comments down, down below. What oh. animals do we look like? Oh, that's fair. Let I'm gonna get slow, Loris. I always get slow, I'm Loris. a wiener dog. I'm a straight-up <gasps> wiener dog. You are a wiener dog! You're a wiener yeah. dog? Mm-hmm. I just, like, when I look in the mirror, I'm like, my body's, like, really long, long and... Thin. And I'm... I just feel like I'm a wiener dog. Yeah. Look, <laughs> sometimes in the bed space, your mother just ain't doing it. What do, you, what do you mean, Dad? What do you, what's the bed space? Well, that's where we, well, our, look, I'm talking about sex, son. What is? You're three, right? You should have known about this for a while. Was I supposed to know about this? Tracy! Yes! Did we talk to Matt about sex yet? I don't think so! Shit! Are you guys fighting? <laughs> By the way, you're a little rough with my pussy in the bedroom! I respect that. <laughs> I'm glad that you talked to me about it instead of holding it over my head. I have so many questions. I wish I had like a freaking hawk. Like a just. No! Oh, that's just a scared Damn. Animal. It could fetch you things. Time. Like a whole bunch of dudes were like gonna jump me. I was like, hold on, guys, before you beat me up and take all my things, even though you're gonna yeah. be very disappointed about how much things yeah. I don't have. Yeah, yeah. Dum 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 It takes like six yeah. hours to get here because they don't live yeah. close. If it's if like a bigger hawk comes along, you're fucked. Yeah, like or a mm. windstorm. Well. Oh no. I take that back. My Hello. spirit animal is Steve Buscemi. He'll do some eye moves. Now you and have a some... sad hawk just now walking away in the distance right well, now. Go. Go back to your hawk people. You're a dumb hawk. No, you stop that. You stop that. I'm that saying hawk. it's a dumb hawk. Look at it. Let's just see what Steve Buscemi thinks. I'm Steve Buscemi. Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> I was running out to the car real fast, and so I, I was like, shit, I forgot. Uh, I forgot my. Uh, it was like a, my laptop, and I went inside, and it's fucking four o'clock in the morning, and I turned the key, and I forgot to reset the alarm, so it just goes. <laughs> and I woke Lindsay and Trey up, and I was like, I don't. Should I stay? Yeah. <laughs> I, this is my fault. This is my fault. But I don't want to deal with the repercussions. <laughs> and so I was what like, you do? I, I mean, I texted Lindsay. <laughs> I texted Lindsay. I was like, that was me. Don't worry. That's right in between staying and going. Yeah, yeah but still going. <laughs> yeah. I want to really? be gone. Yeah. Yeah, you were that. saying you want to like 
I'd like to be in the ground. Steve wants to die before he's 43. Yes, please. Um, Steve, it's your dream come true. You can be like, get off my lawn. Yeah, and then they'll be like, like your and face. then they'll be like, ha ha, we're young, ha ha. And then I'll they'll they'll like, back. go away on their hoverboards. Yeah. And, and then I'll then be like, cry. oh, we're drinking <laughs> through hoverboards. Oh, my kidneys are failing. Oh, oh, I can't pee on my own anymore. There's a thing in my dick that pees for me. Oh, I can't walk. I'm pooping right now. <laughs> I'm in pain all day. But what do you think of Jurassic Park 7? <laughs> the 3D was amazing. <laughs> what do you do with you. a Sammy Basher? What do you do with a Sammy Basher? What do you do with a Sammy Basher early in the morning? Sam doesn't know how to sail. Sam doesn't know <laughs> how to sail. Crash the boat into rocks and everybody dies. They put their trust in a man who doesn't know how to swim or use a boat. They put their trust in a man who doesn't know how to use a boat. Just because you got that hat, they made you into a, a captain. And they made a big mistake cause you don't know what you're doing. You killed a bunch of innocent people. You killed a bunch of innocent people. They all had families and wives and you killed all those people. The blood is on your family line. You will never get away with it. Your family will be arrested and they'll go to jail. Wow, that was lovely. What was the scariest thing your parents told you when you were younger? That there's a man watching me masturbate in the sky. <laughs> what? That. Parents told me there's a man in a weather balloon that will use a telescope to watch me masturbate. That's... And I was afraid of that man I daily. I don't think your parents said that, Steve. <laughs> so don't touch yourself, because that man will see you. Wow. <laughs> Steven. They told me. One time we got to go to Italy and I tripped eight times. <laughs> I once tried to jump over a chain like that was maybe a foot off the ground <laughs> oh, no. and my feet caught on it and I landed face first. I tripped going into an elevator. I tripped coming out of an elevator. I tripped and got red sauce all over me the first day wearing a white polo. <laughs> what is I tripped in the Coliseum. What movie is this? <laughs> no, it's just my so, trip to Italy. And like one cannon, really hot so it really girl wasn't comes that like, Ooh, I, I, like, wouldn't it come over here? And you're like, I do. But <laughs> <Ka> bam! <laughs> Honey duck holes, how where? <laughs> Honey duck holes, how where? <laughs> Honey duck holes, how where? Honey, Honey duck, duck holes, how where? I know. Honey duck holes, how where? 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 Honey duckles where? Honey duckles sour. Honey duckles sour. Honey duckles sour. Honey duckles sour. How many holes? Honey duckle salad. No. Honey duckles sour. I need a cold shower. What the fuck? If you had a dwarf name, i.e. Sneezy, Grumpy, Dopey, what would it be? I'm farty. Everyone knows it. Okay? Gassy? Gassy's cuter. Gassy's cuter. Guys, it smells like a turd's asshole in here. Where's Gassy? Oh, you! Yeah, I I'm can't gassy. stay mad. I'm uh, gassy. What about you? What are you? Lonely. Mom, I don't want to go to school. Mom, I don't want to clean my room. When you ask me why, I look up to the sky. There's only one reason why it was aliens. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to do anything because there's aliens. It was aliens that made me kick my sister. It was aliens that made me, mister, it was aliens. Missing from your wallet, it was aliens. And when I didn't flush the toilet, it wasn't me, it was aliens. And when dad put his foot in his shoe, it turned out there was human poo, it was aliens. <laughs>
That was... Yeah, that was really good. Strensum's dick silencer! <laughs> that is new. Yeah, is your dick super loud and often way too garish? Get a dick silencer. <laughs> no one will see it coming. Ooh, Have a fancy function, but you need your dick out and you don't want anyone to realize it? Get a nice dick silencer. Also, if you have a friend who's a huge dick and he won't shut his goddamn mouth, use real life dick silencer. That's you screw it on top of his head and then he okay. dies because he can't. Oh, wow! wow. Okay, so my first conscious date was in high school and it was with this girl that I didn't really like. Yeah. There was something kind of off about her, but like everyone was like, man, she likes you and she's single and you're single. So like, you know, it's high school. So it's yeah. like, you gotta do it, bro. And I was like, hey, you wanna <clears throat> be my girlfriend? And she's just like, okay. And I was like, all right, um, see, see you after school? Yeah, I'll see ya, okay. <laughs> and then we went our separate ways. And then like, I didn't see her again the whole day. Yeah. So and the next day, like, hey. I went to go find her. Has anybody seen uh, yeah, yeah. my girlfriend? Yeah, has anybody seen my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah. And I go, and I'm like, where is she? And she's like, I'm right here. And I'm like, what? 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 She shaved off all of her hair. So I went back to my friend Sean, and I was like, I don't know if I should date this person anymore because I'm terrified of her. I didn't really like her to begin with, and now she has a shaved head, and it's very strange. Sean was like, oh, yeah, you know, um, man, I probably should have told you. Um, she's like... Like, she, like, stabbed her boyfriend, like, a couple years ago or something. Reddit slash r slash for this horse bed. You just Welcome. send someone to horse bed. Yeah. It's a lot different horse <laughs> Well, yeah. we've been feeding horses yeah. since 1902. Bum, bum, mm. bum, but I'll tell you what, bum, we feed bum, our bum, horses bum, at bum, least three bum, times bum, a day. Bum, Oats, bum, corn, bum, bum, wheat, bum, 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 they drink bum, lots bum, of water, bum, too. Bum, I'll tell you what, maybe if we talk more about horse fed, let me have them beats again, boy. Bum, we bum, might get a good Old animated bit out of this. I don't want to go to the food. I love you, weird food. I love weird I'm food. I'm all about weird food. Weird, Every like time I sit down at a table and it's just me and a crab, like looking at each other, I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna, flip I'm gonna you get over, rip you off so your penis good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna shake out all that mustard that's actually poop, but my dad always said was mustard. It's called mustard. I mean, that's really. People eat it. What? That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, gather around, children. I got the story to tell yes, to you. Paul? It's all about one of the neighborhood vagrants. His name is Old Fartsy. <laughs> he'd walk down the street, and each step he'd take would be a little. <laughs> <laughs> It would be really silent. The town would be like, the tumbleweed would go by, and then off in the distance, you hear. What was that? Is that one of those barking spiders? Spiders? I have a bit of indigestion from eating three thousand of my own kids. Get out of here, Thaddeus! You know I done vomited more of my kids than I swear I've held dollars in my own hand, and I am a successful businessman. <laughs> I have this big festival in Oxnard called the Strawberry Festival. Yeah. I worked at a booth where we made sh uh, strawberry shortcakes. We'd fill it with the like the glazed uh -huh. strawberry, like syrupy right. sweet That's strawberries out of the jar. This is not volunteer work for you. This is your dream come true. But no, so and then we'd spray factory. the whipped cream uh -huh. on top of it, and then we would like hand those out. We were making like hundreds of those. Did you do, like one, was, one in one? Are you kidding me? Man? Of course he are did. You kidding me? Towards the end of the day, they're like, <laughs> we're running low on these cups back here. What's <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> honey. Yeah, doll. What are you making for dinner tonight? Ah, oh, making a popcorn burger. What? A popcorn burger. Mom and Dad. Get back in paid. the kitchen where you belong. I'm yeah. gonna keep drinking. Have you thought any more about me getting a job? No, but this is not where I wanted the bit to go at all. I'm pregnant again. <laughs> Mom and Dad, no one's paying attention to me. No, I'm a black man. <laughs> So I think it was like seventh grade. Instead of dances, we'd have socials. I really wanted to go to this thing, you know, and I was complaining about it. I was eating like ice cream or something before I went to Hebrew school. And uh, <laughs> this girl, Gretchen, overhears me. And I guess out of sympathy, she was like, I'll, I'll go with you. It's your first date was a pity date. Yeah, and I was like, really? She was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go with you. And because at this point, I assume that everything that happened in movies and TV was how life was supposed to be. I ran outside and just started like 
jumping and dancing. Like, like I got I, a like girlfriend. All of her friends were just like watching me do this. Oh, like, no. like <laughs> you did it in front of them. Uh, you might as well have been like, Mom! <laughs> yeah, right on the legs. I got on a date. I might as well have. Because then I get to the thing. I, I find I'm like, hey, and she's like, hey. Um, <laughs> and then I saw her for maybe ten minutes out of the whole thing, and that was my oh. first. So Really snooty awards for porn. I would oh, love one that. day. Like, the cool. cinematography. <laughs> the mise en scene was off. <laughs> it was a very deus ex machina uh, ending. I thought the MacGuffin in that <laughs> film, being a butt plug, was entertaining. The Merkin was very well designed. The though. device of using a dojo, mm. <laughs> I thought, was rather. <laughs> Complimentary. <laughs> and you get invested. That you? That's, yeah. me. that's twice. That's, so that's unforgivable. That's it. unforgivable. <laughs> What's the punishment? You know, I, uh, What's the punishment that fits the crime, uh, Sam? Uh, 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 skin. Skin him. That's skin what, him. That was fair. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that was let's, fair, let's right? Let's hold on. Where? How did we get to skin? <laughs> let's dial it back. How about just the black one? <laughs> Anything? We, we spiderweb his phone. There we, we go. go. There we go. <laughs> Boom. Um, that was the last time we saw him. Yeah. I went on a date with a guy I met in an improv class. He pulled out an insulin needle and stuck it right in his stomach at the table while we were in eating. In his own stomach? Yeah. Her. What did you say to him? I didn't say shit. I was just kind of like, oh, all right. <laughs> and like finished up the date. I got texts later that were like, so are you just like busy or? Uh, are you just like real busy? <laughs> Hold on, I just want you to know I'm sticking seven needles yeah. in your stomach right now. Are you like out of the country or something? <laughs> Two tickets to the symphony! Am I talking to a Muppet or is this a person? It no, I'm a real person! <laughs> also, A is for Apple! <laughs> <laughs> I would love to go to a crack house. I would love to go to a crack house because I'm high on nothing. But I just, just get like people like, faces like, how you doing there, son? How you doing, man? How you doing, son? They're like, what's this guy on? <laughs> Like nothing. <laughs> this I was born this way. I had coffee. You <laughs> left for two seconds inside of a car. <laughs> and they'd be like, all right, let's mm. suck each other off. Like, oh, all right. Uh. Is that what you think goes on in crack houses? I mean, what else goes on in crack house? Crack. <laughs> and, and then I assume everybody sucks each other off. I work on a farm all day. It's a simple life, I do it all day. Sometimes I'll sit and use the plow. And my name is Wojosh C. Berla now. But I remember being a kid sitting at those Chuck E. Cheese tables with like just filled with all these kids that I did not give a shit about <laughs> going like, why is this fucker enjoying my cake? Why is that fucker eating my pizza that my parents paid for? Oh, I'm sorry, Billy. Did you finish the orange soda? Because I think that it's my birthday. Oh, I'm sorry, Billy. Was it your birthday? I forgot it's your birthday. Go ahead. No, here, have my slice of pizza I'm uh, not done with. Billy is a shithead. I love Mike more than anyone on earth, very, very much. More you sure than anyone. About that? I really, <laughs> yes, I'm gonna stop touching you now. Yes. <laughs> I once threw a drink at him because we were fighting really, really hard. Mm -hmm. we fist fighting. Fist fighting. <laughs> we were just brawling. I was just fucking knocking his teeth out. Oh. Um, no. Oh. Okay. I threw a drink at him and he got so mad and then he went from mad to just instantly sad and it just broke my heart completely. And seriously, girls PMSing, that is that is why girls are yeah. crazy. 
frustration is real It happens every day it Happens even in your homes <laughs> Castration is real Happens in the White House even happens right under your nose Castration affects 45,000 Americans each year Castration I Can I suggest one book? something to you? Yes. Put on a Craigslist ad and say like, I need 12 Natalies no more, no less. What do you think that would be like, honestly, if you what? had 12 girlfriends? You make a joke and 12 girls would laugh. Yeah, and like when they all can't breathe, laughing, they're all like, <laughs> all at the same time. So you have your own studio <laughs> yeah, audience. audience at any point. <laughs> and then you get in an argument with them and it's 12 girls yelling at you. And they're all mad about the same thing. Oh my god, that's uh, a nightmare. Yeah. Wait. They get real mad at you and they're like, I'm going to my mom's house. And they all run out the door, but it takes a minute. Yeah. And, all and they, they all get, get in mom. one car and they yeah. drive off. Which Natalie drives. <laughs> you just woke up to real human teeth under your pillow and it's not yours. What do you do first? Run. I put them back under and wait for that two fairy woman to get around here to give me some change. Mm -hmm. And I wake up while she's there and I grab her and I say, I know you got more on you. And she, she's like, I only got a couple more dollars. And I say, I know you got more than that. She's like, okay, I got 20. I said, I know you got more than that in your magical purse. She gives me her money. My parents didn't let me believe in the two fairy when I was a kid. Admitting that you have a problem is the first step to recovery. <clears throat> Stop it! This table does not deserve your ire, sir. If table. I hit it like once a week, by December it'll be dead. By next December? By next December it'll be dead. I think that's fair. That's a that's a fair Monday assessment. Monday through Thursday, I'll leave you alone, unless we're using it in a different video. What would you do if we were hanging out? Let's say out here in the parking lot of SourceFed, I was walking you out to your car, and I was like, thanks for coming, man. I really appreciate you coming by. And then I was like, my time here is done. <laughs> and then I look up into the sky, and I shoot up into the sky, and I'm gone, all right? I really <laughs> like the idea of going home, so I'd be like, boop, boop, and then I'd get in my car and I'd go home. I'd look home. around, because no one else is around, right. you guys. <laughs> no uh, one's around. And then home. Hold on, let's say my mom, she that. comes over to you and says, I need to speak to the man that last saw my son. He said his time here is done, he shot up into the sky, I got in my car, I went to Chipotle, and then I went home. Weeks have gone by. Yeah. So Stephen Hawking comes to you, <laughs> and he says, Mike, what happened? Neil deGrasse Tyson comes <laughs> and he says, I must know. What if President Obama wanted to come talk to you about it? Did you have any nightmares or were you scared? Steve no. sounds just like Obama right now. Oh, and then Obama zips off and it's me and I'm like, fuck you, Mike. <laughs> I shut up in his face. You didn't give a shit. This weekend, Sam came to our house and I walked into a spider web and I was like, ah, oh, man. And then I went into the house and later Sam was like, you got something on your face. Holy shit. It was a spider. And I was like, oh no. And then I flicked it off of my face and it's been on Darren's door for days. That's the spider? Yeah. I saw it on Darren's door. I and I was like, why is there a dead spider on Darren's door? I put that there. It's like, why am I even here? Yeah. <laughs> my last job before I got source fed, I was a Spider Man for kids' birthdays. A Spider Man? Uh, I would show up as Spider Man. We are so jealous. I, like, I have no powers, so I'm just kind of running around in the costume, <laughs> like, I'm Spider Man, and I'm like, still fat. So oh, like, no! like, Spider Man's got a gut. I couldn't do it. I, they'd be like, oh, I'll take off your mask, Peter Parker. No, Let's see what I'm. They can't. And I'd terrify you can't the kids. Take off your mask. Steve Zaragoza. He came from space and he came down to the beach. He wants to hang out with the ladies on the beach. He will throw confetti at your face. He will do drugs all over the place. His name is Steve Zaragoza. Don't you leave that hose on. Steve Zaragoza. He designed the best bikini for ladies to wear. You're a bikini designer? I'm a bikini designer and the ladies all love my hair. I'm also a billionaire. Convenient. I Convenient. have a really big penis I can't fit in my pants. It's a good Steve Zaragoza and his best friend Lee. Oh. 
She's also a dinosaur Fair. from the planet Saturn. She I'm crashed on, on Earth, and, and she's also a magician. Whoa. And she is a scuba I'm diver. Busy. She finds all the treasure, yeah. and then she's a millionaire. Steve Zaragoza. Steve Zaragoza. Steve. It's animated, too. Yeah, uh, there was a shitty kid at my sleepaway camp. His name was Ezra, and I'll never forget because uh, my brother and I went to the same sleepaway camp. We didn't know what like gay was. My brother and I hung out with each other all the time because we didn't have any friends. And uh, this kid kept like making fun of us. We were like, "Hey, fudge packer, you pack your brother's fudge." And my brother doesn't like candy, so I was like, <laughs> "My brother doesn't even like fudge." I was an idiot. I'm Matt Lieberman. I'm Steve Zaragoza, and today we have a special guest, Mr. Adi Shankar. Um, this man's yeah. a rebel. Hopefully, he rubs off on us a little bit. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. I also only agreed to be here if they uh, put my put your penis in my mouth. Didn't you say kids watch this show? Yeah. How do you have this guy? Well, kids got to learn sometime. He was here before I got here. I wasn't a part of that decision. <laughs> I'm sick of being human Cause goblins don't have to pay taxes I wanna be a goblin But the goblin world won't have me Cause I'm a f***ing guy Goblins don't like guys Read a book Read a book on goblins. Lots of credible books on goblins. Think Stephen Hawking wrote about goblins. <laughs> I think there's lots of history books. Like when the Hindenburg crashed. <laughs> that was goblins. <laughs> I know you're thinking it was aliens. But it was goblins. Read a book. Do you know what I think some monsters couldn't get me? What? I laid in my bed and I thought there was like a force field type shield that protected from guns and ghosts and wolves. Whoa. And it went from Even one wolves. side of my bed. <laughs> so I'd get in my bed and lay real still and then go. Oh, and you would make your shield. And lock it, and then I was okay, and nothing could get me in my bed. I actually had a Except for thing. intruders. I had a similar no, thing. No, no intruders. Like shield. a monster, it's maybe a not, shield. but like a man that was no. coming in to take No, they wouldn't even see Trisha. Think, yeah. But I have been sitting wrong. at like at, in the bank and someone just starts talking to me in Spanish and I have to be that dumb, stupid white girl that's like, yeah. <laughs> I go to family outings and that's me. <laughs> sitting there when aunts and uncles are trying to speak to me and I'm like, <laughs> yeah. What did she say? <laughs> Please tell me what she said. She said that you're a disappointment. <laughs> I, I know. And you confuse them. Yeah, yeah literally I, it I just it. says Your disappointment makes them like always seem like to me as a kid. Up. One time I had a rocking horse, and I would ride it all up, you know, like real good. What would, what would that horse sound like in your imagination? It would be like, oh, shit, this intensity is red hot, is what he would say. And he'd be like, ooh, yeah, ride it. Ride that fucking horse back. Uh, and then one day I woke up and I went over and then one of the legs was broken. And I was like, who did this? And it turns out I never found out. I bet it was the old guy that's watching me masturbate in the balloon that Andre drew. Did you notice that it's the same guy that hit you with your car in the animation? That was yeah, funny. you told me that. Yeah. Andre's Andre, so great. He's really, really talented. And by the way, yeah, I don't like he's him. Great. You know what, though, on the bus uh, when I was in seventh grade, this is a name drop story. She will always have a place in my heart as being super nice. She let me sit next to her on the bus, and it was Kristen Stewart. <gasps> wow! Yes, and we both just like put on our headphones and listened to our little CD I players. I can totally so picture that. In seventh grade. I don't know what was playing in hers, but in mine, I think it was like System of a Down or something. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I love you so much right now. I've always loved System of a Down. What's your favorite was, song? Uh. B-Y-O-B. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, but I mean, like, Daniel Day-Lewis could be a vampire, straight up. He DDL, could. here's the thing. I was thinking, like, how exhausting would that be to be the wife of that? Where they're like, Abraham, do you want butter on your toast? <laughs> there was not I, butter in my day. Abraham Lincoln, do you want butter on Mary, your toast? Mary, I've had it. Daniel? I'm not joking right Who now. Who is Daniel? Oh my God! Do you? Who I can't. Who is Daniel? Okay, I'm taking Daniel. the kids to soccer, and when I come back, hey, they hey, better hey, be. Hey, hey, I'm a fucking actor. Okay, yeah, I get it. All right, I get it. Yeah, my really dad wrote The Crucible. Mm -hmm. That's a story SourceFed would cover. Uh, yeah. oh, Man found 100%. dead on pile, a pile of, of dildos. Sex toys. Your parents wouldn't be able to hide it. So <laughs> let's say your parents are like, Sam passed away. Oh, it was so sad. Next day rolls around, Aunt. BB is reading the internet <laughs> and she sees, oh, Sam Basher, that's my that's my uh, my nephew or whatever. Who is it? Oh, that's my nephew, Sam Basher. Let me read Turn about it. See if they say oh, about full it. spread ad of yeah. you just passed what? out. He on died on dogs. dildos? Oh my god. Aunt BB's gonna call your mom and be like, what's going on here? You told me he passed away. You didn't mention the dildos. Say this technology progresses and yeah, they mm -hmm. like it and everyone's okay with it. I want it to get to the point where like Mattel, they just outsource to like India and other countries where like there's a language barrier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Barbie, where can I find a blue dress? I don't! Who is this? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> You trying to turn off your computer? <laughs> Harvey, why are you yelling at me? Who is this on the line? This is Jim from Mattel. What if I had two toys? <laughs> what if they like were in the room together and then one of them was just like, ugh, when is Steve gonna get home? And the other one goes like, I know, right? Wait, who, who's that? I'm who Jim you? from Mattel. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm Jim from Mattel. I'm Chrissy from Mattel. Are you the guy in the lunchroom that always eats alone that like, I kind of share glances with and Yeah, wait, cool. are you that kind of mousy but also kind of cute girl who like keeps filling up her thermos? <laughs> if you could see my face, you'd see I'm blushing. Uh, oh. I can tell that function has been added. I don't so is what's Italian next? Like Spanish, maybe Italian? Italian, maybe. Yeah. 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 There's, there's, there's a music in the, the way that you speak. Buongiorno, <laughs> principessa. Olive Garden. Olive Garden. A bed, bath, and beyond. Yeah, Only with the soup and the bread. Yeah. 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 That is a beautiful language. Yeah. What I want to know is, is what would be the benefit of webbed feet? Cut to Steve, uh, the boat capsizes <laughs> in the like, middle of the ocean. Oh no, you've got to get over there in 10 seconds, man. Like, oh, if only I had webbed feet, I could make oh, it. There actually have been times where I have felt like I was being chased by a predator in the ocean. Ooh. I'm too terrified of the ocean, I think. There's sharks in there, man. Sharks are great. Bree and her shark friends having fun. Oh yeah. Bree and her shark friends all day long. <laughs> I was doing that yesterday. I was like, man, touching my eye is so much fun. I was like, it was oh, a when while. you rub your eye? Yeah, you ever and you're rub just your like, eye? oh, God. Uh, <laughs> it was good. Uh, like, then, I got the stuff out. Yeah. But I'm I just, still but doing this it. is the best. This is Why the best. Is this nice. Why are we trying to come when up with you new eyeballs? Just rub your own eyeballs? <laughs> Why are like, we trying to go to planets? <laughs> I bet if we took all those scientists, we were like, all right, this costs us billions of dollars. Hold on. Everybody go like this. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Guys, I went to a farmer's market very recently in Simi Valley, California, mm. where a man with a big beard was selling earwax as a lubricant for uh, anal sex. Yeah, it was it was big jars. He was like, oh, I've got these jars. What's his earwax drains out of my ear and I get to catch it. It's, it's, it's a stuck. funnel that comes out. I'm just making it right oh. now. Look. Oh, wow. Have a taste. What do you taste? Oh, freeze. <laughs> I just needed it to end. <laughs> I taste blueberries. It's at an end. All right, here we go. It's murder time. See, these dumb bitches are always gaggling around. We'll kill them later. Aren't you afraid of me? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I killed everyone! No! I let one escape! God damn it! God damn it! Oh my god, I'm such a fucking good serial killer. I killed like eight girls! No, these bitches are just fucking dripping with blood. Fuck it, I'm gonna drag them out. There's like a furnace over there, which is where I'm bringing the body. Oh, she keeps bleeding out. What an idiot. Are you done yet? Oh my god, there's blood everywhere. This is such bullshit. We need to dump you into the furnace. The police are coming in like three minutes. Oh my god, where do I hide? Where do I hide? I'll, oh, oh, I'll take off my clothes. Okay, dude, I am so good at killing these girls. My mom would make this really great food, and I would be like, like I don't fuck want no. it. Yeah, I don't want it. <laughs> and they'd be like, well, what do you want? <laughs> I want a happy meal, mama. And then of course they'd be like, he's not gonna eat anything else. Yeah, yeah, happy yeah. meals. And by the way, <laughs> Grandma Juanita, who is now in the ground, this is what she did. 
Okay. She would get the fucking most delicious tortillas Ooh. that were like fucking fresh that she would heat up on the yeah. stove to make it even warmer. Yeah. And then she would fucking pull out a big old stick of butter and she would just like rub the butter yeah. all like a over the tortilla. She would chop off a couple of squares and leave these chunks in there. And then she would fold it up. She'd be like, there. Just a butter Taco tortilla. of butter. Wow. And I was like, Taco of butter? I would eat that shit. Like, I would come home from school and my mom would be like, Taco of butter? Taco of butter! <laughs> Keep them coming, Mom! Mario ain't gonna find the princess himself! Oh right. my god! <laughs> So what would your throne be made out of, Will? Uh, I just want, what's the guy from that movie I didn't see that's really big, uh, Big Hero 6? That's my throne. I want that guy to be my throne. You want oh, a Betamax, Betamax throne? I want a Betamax to be my throne. Betamax you want Betamax? A Betamax throne and a Betamax <laughs> throne, two very different yeah. things. Uh, I want his soft and squishy. I want the soft and squishy one. I yeah. want him to be, but I want him to still be alive. And I yeah. want him to be my throne. Will I want talk him to you? To, he's always wanting to go places, but I'm like, no, hold on. I'm, <laughs> I'm throwing him up. I think it is you, and I think you should get back to animating. Yeah. How about how about you 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 bend over that 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 drawing tablet yeah. and you draw me with, with 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 fangs and with with cool ass lobster claws. You dare defy me, Wilfer Feast. You're actually pretty cool, DJ. I, Morlock Ball, Lord of Domination, stands before you. Revel in fear, mere peasant. Your terror is palpable. You've traveled all this way, overcome countless obstacles, and have slain indescribably vile, destructive creatures simply to face me. Now you can't even muster up the courage to say one word to me. It's time to end your journey, so-called hero. I mean, uh, you barely, barely hit me with that, uh, not even painful at all. It's time to destroy you! Oh, stop, no, stop, no, stop. Ah, you're out of mana! There's nothing preventing me from slashing your throat and pulling out your spine! Now, ah, fuck! Holy shit. Oh my god, Mom! Mom! You aren't gonna believe what the cat just did! And I was streaming it too! Wow, 5,000 viewers! Mr. Happy Paws, we are going to be the most famous streamers of all time. In two years, Mr. Happy Paws and his owner rose to fame. Until one day, Mr. Happy Paws saw a squirrel outside, chased after it, and never came home. His owner tried to continue their legacy but failed as he was not a cat. And could not muster up the same audience. Then they both died. It was a very indifferent time for all. Oh, one day. Like, the Who? cinematography. <laughs> the mise en scene was off. <laughs> hey, Fudge Packer, you pack your brother's fudge? And my brother doesn't like candy, so I was like, <laughs> my brother doesn't even like fudge. I was an idiot. Oh, that's my nephew, Sam Basher. Let me read Turn about it. See if they say oh, full about spread ad of yeah. you just passed what? out. He on died on dogs. dildos? Oh. And they'd be like, all right, let's suck each other off. Like, oh, all right. Is that what you think goes on in crack houses? I mean, what else goes on in crack house? Crack. <laughs> and, and then I assume everybody sucks each other off. Aunts and uncles are trying to speak to me. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. What did she say? Please tell me what she said. She said that you're a disappointment. I, I know. And you confuse them. Yeah, and literally, I, I it just it. says Your disappoint presence Mento. Makes always seemed like to me as a kid. I don't know what was playing in hers, but in mine, I think it was like System of a Down or something. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? I love you so much right now! I've always loved System of a Down. What's your favorite song? Uh... B-Y-O-B. Oh, I love you! Yeah. Oh! Yeah, I also only agreed to be here if they uh, put my... Put your penis in my mouth? Didn't you say kids watch this show? Yeah. How do you have this guy? Well, kids gotta learn sometime. He was here before I got here. I wasn't a part of that decision. <laughs> oh man, that looks like so much fun. Of course I had to join SourceFed when the animator needed time off. So can we get SourceFed animated back, please? When you've watched everything else on YouTube And your funny bone can't get in the groove Going outside is overrated Hey, it's time for SourceFed animated! If you're supposed to get out of bed But you do anything instead Get ready to be stimulated as you watch SourceFed Animated! 
When you've watched everything else on YouTube And your little brother's being a noob Every other show is overrated Hey, it's time for SourceFed Animated Shower with your younger self? That's I, terrifying. I would never want to do that, ever. I'd be like, hey, kid, pass the soap. And I'd be like, who is this bearded man? Yeah. Is this going to be you? Yes, ah. I think mean, if he's younger, you would be like, oh, oh, yeah. Not until the initial terrified idea of a grown-ass man with a beard in the shower. <laughs> younger me would be like, yeah. But older me is like, nah. Yeah, older me would be like, you get him one day. Just It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while. You get him one day. My girlfriend and I have been taken to. You guys are real cute. Oh, so cute. They're wicked cute. Can, can we talk about real quick before Let's we talk do that? About it for what a she bit. does for you every day? She packs me a lunch and sometimes breakfast ingredients, and she'll she'll leave me a note. And uh, before I leave the house, I'll leave her a note. And we like I don't know. We just we try to we try to keep each other like. And you have a really hamster happy. or a guinea pig? Guinea pig, yeah. Lucy, and she's she is. A handful. You guys are great guinea parents. Yeah. Thank you. Guinea we we parents. try to be. <laughs> when I realized that drinking an entire bottle of champagne and trying to walk past a glass table was not a good idea, um, I basically cut my leg really badly. And you know, um, my calf muscle was hanging out of my leg. Uh, and then I saw people look at me and they lost all the color in their face. Then someone held my head up and said, don't look down. And I was like, oh, the table's so damaged. I feel so bad. And then someone went down with towels and came up and looked like they just murdered someone. And I was like, whose blood's that? <laughs> Yours. And by the time I got to the hospital and the doctor was opening it up even more to see if there was any glass in my meat, I <gasps> grabbed the doctor by the throat and I said, not my legs! Anything but my legs! So I think to answer this question, I have to keep my legs. Chloe, before we end, I want to ask you, what would you do if we went outside and after you were leaving and I was walking to your dear car and I was like, Chloe, thank you so much for coming. You had a great time. My work here is done. And I look up into the sky and shoot up into space. Oh! What would you do? What would I do? Yeah. My brain would short out. I'd probably start crying. Yeah, you have to cry at least! I don't have to do Your whole reality would have just been <laughs> fucked. First of all, you just said your brain would short out. Because okay? it's insane to watch someone yeah, fly into space! So, so for the next however many years you're lucky enough to be alive, you're just living with this shorted out but brain. But like, you don't go- I'm just relying, no, I'm starting I would get a family, it back. I'm <laughs> buying a house. But I'm what if well then fed? Steve showed up at your doorstep and he's like, I was wrong. My work is not done. I open the door, you're there, you're like this. I'm like, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Breaking the ice is breaking the silence. Breaking the silence. It's the same sh Darren. It's the same sh It's the same sh It's the same. We don't have any more riddles? We can just do one more. It's fun. One it's more fun. riddle. No. Guys, thank you so much for watching SourceFed. Please be sure to describe and uh. Subscribe. <laughs> they know what they're supposed to do. I'm gonna do the outro again. <laughs> I did a great outro. I could give a hand job. You can I, totally, because you know what feel feels it good. In my hands, mm -hmm. especially if you have the same dick as me. I can change your world. <laughs> so anyone with a dick of comparable size to Will's, line up. Uh, I want my mom to see that. Listen, <laughs> life is just a series of experiences. Uh, line up, boys. <laughs> Oh man, I actually used to have the teeth too. And one time I went to my dentist and I had them in <laughs> and he like came over and started looking at my teeth and he was like, no, um, uh, what? Wh and I'm like, oh, don't worry, they're just fake teeth. And then he's like, oh, okay. And I was like, oh, I, I'm sorry, is that not funny? And I took him out and he's just like, let's let's just take care of this, okay? <laughs> you know what, he probably thought like, he was like, oh, you think I'm a joke? <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think I, I went to school <laughs> so I could be a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe. Here's what happened. Like, pre-Dark Ages, someone was raising a cow, and Damn. the udder is just swollen with milk. So, the f enterprising farmer reaches down and, like, yanks it, and stuff comes out. It's like, whoa, holy shit. Stuck his mouth down underneath the thing and just took a little shot in the mouth. That shit ain't bad. Yeah. And he took another shot in the mouth. He's and then like, he just sucked on that cow's tit the rest of the day. And he got real fat, but you better believe his calcium levels through the roof. That's right. It's date time. Let's have some fun. What?
We're supposed to be on a date. And I said, let's go have some fun. And you said, we'll do that next time. This is so weird. I want to hate her. And then I look at her and she's just so cute. I don't, what? You want to go to karaoke? Taiga, I am losing my shit with you. You know what? I'm over it. This makes no sense. You want to have sex with me, but you don't want to date me. This is so the other way around. I want to date you. I want you to be with me. I don't even want to have sex with you, because I know it's meaningless to you. But it's going to mean something for me. Whatever. Time to grope some breasts. This hurts my heart. Mm -hmm. If we had a threesome, who would we focus on the most? Between the three of us? So we're in Will's room, making out. Okay. Me and Will are making out. Darren comes into the room, mm -hmm. and he's like, hold on, Steve, you have a girlfriend, dude. What's going on here? Right. Guys, we're roommates. Mm -hmm. This is out of control. Mm. And then Will's like, come on, Darren. Be cool, man. Come on in, man. Come on in. You come in, too, and then you and Darren start making it. Darren? Okay. And then you're watching? I'm pretty hard, so I'm jerking off. Like, right away. Can we do that tonight? I'd love to. It's, it's yeah. like the same as like, I don't know, like you go get a massage and you fall asleep and you fart while you're asleep. I've never done that. Okay, oh I have a fucking God. disgusting yeah. story that must really happen. quick. I got a massage once and uh, it was at this like little place. It was really cheap. It was 25 bucks. You get a full body massage. Mm. And uh, this woman was giving me a massage and she went... And she burned <laughs> and blew it towards me, and she oh, eaten. No. And I Were you moved. facing down or facing up? I was facing up. Oh, and, no. <laughs> and she's above my head, so she went oh, and blew oh, it. Down. Oh, man, that's gross. Your uh, Australian accent is um, oi crikey, atrocious. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> working on it. Oi, each dunker the dunkaroos that give me a kick in the mouth. Every time you do that, an Australian dies. Like, you <laughs> stop. Oh, it's a bad one. <laughs> Sweet kangaroo. You did it, Doctor. I look just like him. Oh no. You remember how in in Spider-Man, uh, like all of a sudden he like he woke up the next day and he was like, oh fuck, I'm Jack. That is so cool. That That's was cool. so fake. <laughs> yeah, that's fake. Me. Not the fact <laughs> that he's a spider now. Yeah. You cannot wake up the next day and like, oh fuck, oh yeah. And yeah. he didn't really react that much to it. If I woke up and I had a body like that, I'd be like, what the fuck? I'd be going on MySpace, because that's what we I'd had at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'd be taking a photo. I'd be I had a seatbelt belt, and I rode the bus to school, and the creepiest thing ever was my bus driver pushed it. And he was like, oh, would you look at that? He touched my seatbelt belt. How old are you? I was 12. Yeah. So he's a pedophile. Sam. Sam the, bus driver. Sam the bus driver. Sam's watching this right now. He's like, no. No, I was just like, oh, I thought it was just for show. I did realize I probably shouldn't be touching a 12-year-old that I don't know. Three inches above her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Like, let's say you, Maud Garrett, were in a spaceship, and your crew's all dead, oh, yeah. and you're looking at a black hole. There's enough fuel to get you back home. The computer robot is like, the, the probability of surviving through a black hole is 98.75. Never tell me the odds! You, you could end up in a whole new civilization, yeah. or a whole other dimension that is not unlike your own that you're from, Maud Garrett. I'm curious. So you'd go straight into the black hole. Sure. I know I would. Okay, so let's say you go through that black hole and then you end up on the other side and the robot's like, Mod Garrett, I'm scanning for potential planets with your oxygen so yep. that your puny Earth body can breathe in. Uh -huh. And then it like scanning, scanning, located a planet, heading there, and you're like, holy shit, it's 15 minutes away, Mod Garrett. Yeah. And you land there yep. and it's a planet full of men and you're the only woman left. What do you do? I do what womankind must do. <laughs> Get back on that ship and fly back into the wormhole. Come out of yeah, that <laughs> Get great. out. Damn it, Raina, stop doing stupid shit. No, stop it, stop it. Stop it. Raina, what are you doing? Go talk to fucking. Maybe that. I don't want to talk to Will right now. Do... Uh oh. He loves it. He's down uh -oh. for all of this. You guys are getting along so well. Um, first kiss. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Do I like it? You do! You do! You guys had your first kiss! Whew! I need a cold shower after that one, my god. Oh my god. gosh, I need a steamy shower Well done, Raina. Thank you. You Steven and Will something. are gonna be the greatest of couples that have ever lived. Oh, I can't wait till we have babies. It's gonna be so cute. Well, I got severely electrocuted from that last project because <sighs> uh, this fucking turd of a person, excuse me, he was a bully and like, the way it worked was the ion generator's over here, it's, it's cased, 
but the kite would be on top of a thing of tin foil, mm -hmm. and there's a current going through it, so you, you don't touch it. And it's yeah. like you, we put signs everywhere, there's a little barrier, but if you reach over, you could touch it. So he touched it, and there was a feedback that happened, and when I was switching it on, I got electrocuted because he touched it. And I remember, like, my whole body froze, and I couldn't move until he stopped touching it. This is what I did with my brother's baby when I held it for the first time. I uh, took that baby and I like kind of like felt the back of the head and then felt for the soft spot. And then I kind of pushed it, not too, oh! hold on, not too hard. And all I could say was, I'm gonna make you racist if I push this hard enough. I'm gonna make you afraid of robots. No, this no, This is gonna make you no. forget things when you're older. What if when you did that, you could see anything you wanted? <laughs> if you would touch the baby soft spot, you could see anything you wanted in the universe. <laughs> I feel the knowledge flowing through my body. So then my uncle took over the world with his newly acquired powers and I was left with this fucked up hole in my head. You can touch it if you want to. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'm the bartender. Okay. Oh, okay, you're the bartender. This is me washing, not doing whatever else. I usually will be here for about 10 minutes. Me trying to figure out what I need to say. Hey, lonely looking kid, do you need something? No, I'm fine. Milk? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine. And then like I'll I'll like I'll kinda like look and see if I can like get into it. And then I'll go back to the bartender. Can I get you anything? Or whatever? Mm. No, I'm can not. I get you a drink? Like you think you're really good. <laughs> I think you're really good. Ask her what's wrong with her bottom lip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did she get kicked? Are you okay? Ask her if she <laughs> ordered Novocaine for the <laughs> Yes, the kick ball. <laughs> and it's been with me that whole life. Does that hinder you? I'm gonna you put that me? right back up there for you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Do I want this? No, absolutely okay. Not. Imagine if you could fly. I would Let's always say be you flying. were born with the ability to fly, and then some asshole with a mustache comes and grabs your ass and puts you in a cage and wants to just look at you, mm -hmm. and you don't get to fly. And then he thinks you're one of the ones that could say shit, so he's always like, Hamburger! Like, hamburger. hamburger! Yeah. And he's like, oh, this motherfucker won't be happy until I go, Hamburger! Yeah. And then they give you like some very tasteless food. If you oh, have yeah. a pet bird, you're an asshole. We need a dining room table. Can we please do that quick? Because yes, Reina. The only problem is, is we don't exactly everywhere. have that much money. We have one thousand seven hundred thirteen dollars. We need that for like safety. I just want to cut in here really quick to make an apology. On the last episode, which also happened to be Subtix's animated debut, a lot of you seem to have thought his forehead was too small. Sorry about that. I hope this will make things right. <laughs> And also, before I go, enjoy this. Wait, can we look at my butt? Because that's a really nice butt. Oh, it's hot, I know, ah. Uh. Can you believe she's in her 40s? I didn't read the Bible, I went to Sunday school. I remember they told us a story about how uh, when Jesus like cured a blind man, he spit into some mud and rubbed <laughs> the mud on a blind oh, man. Oh, yeah. And that was the one part I was like, Ew! This blind dude let him do that? Like, I mean, <laughs> was he gonna do run away? Yeah. <laughs> and then he rubbed it and he went and washed it off and he could see. And I was like, what? That's beautifully metaphoric. Imagine if a man walked up to you spit in your eye. And, he and you were like, damn see. it! Oh, shit! <laughs> 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 While I was not listening to you guys, I was uh -huh. reading about how Fiji you. gets its water, and this is bullshit. Look at this <laughs> fucking picture of a beautiful mountain, fresh water in the mountain, <laughs> filled like with it, blue like water. a fucking M and M <laughs> with a fucking peanut inside. This mountain has a tap of water. You know that water would it. be gross. Oh as yeah, it's hell. got bat shit Maybe and in the, fucking little bugs. But the, I love this. This is the imagery they decided to use. This is for think, idiots to look at and be like. <laughs> Mm, it comes out of a moon! Yeah. <laughs> I love mountain water! <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you proud of yourself? It'll dry off. It's hot outside. An alien comes to Earth and everyone gets to ask it one question. What do you ask? Can I come with you? And oh, then it's just gonna be like, no. I'll be like, oh, I, I, can I have another question? No, no you got one, no, bro. No, you got one. Aw, oh, goddammit. Um, I, I'd ask the alien, how did you get here? What if he was like, I just came out of a spaceship, are you an idiot? Look, <laughs> Who said I, walked right, I walked right out. Does anybody have a good question to ask me? Can you do tricks? Do you think you can do tricks? <laughs> do you think you can? <laughs> nah. Uh, do you think you could like... Alright, so I gotta go now. These were the, these were the three ambassadors of Earth you sent to me to ask me important questions. Anyway, Dude, how so, many? Uh, see you later. By the way, cured cancer years ago <laughs> on our planet. Bye! <laughs> you didn't see what he came in originally?! <laughs> We were at the Walgreens. It was late at night. 
And Darren was like, go in there and get some goddamn toilet paper. <laughs> I've never seen anybody that's so persistent on not having one ply. I went in there, they didn't have any goddamn three ply. I took what they had. I was like, sorry, it was either this or nothing. You're either gonna shit in your hand, you're gonna shit in this shit, all right? I couldn't buy just one. I have to buy an eight pack. Can we just donate this shit to some poor motherfuckers? <laughs> and even they would be like, I don't want this shit. No ply. You want me to wipe my homeless ass with this shit? It's I went to a delicious sandwich place. It's one of those hole in the wall places, and you're like in this sandwich shop. There's like an old guy that's like cheeky in there, and like, hey, what do you want, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at you, what you had, huh? I'm standing next to Darren, and he was like, hey man, I asked for uh, avocado in my sandwich. He's like, nah, you didn't. And Darren's like, yeah, I did. I, I actually ordered it. He's like, nah, you didn't. And Darren's like, yeah, I did. So and what like, did he do? All right, we you got right me, there. nondescript Asian man. So, in 2009, <laughs> I've been at all these parties. I think it was a Twilight party, like a big premiere party for yes. Twilight. And I, I took a bunch of shots, I drank a lot, and I like was talking to this girl, <laughs> and she was like, me and my friends are doing this thing at the Omni or whatever, and I was like, oh, cool, I'll go to that. And I was like, oh, I think this girl likes me, maybe. Then I got like very excited. I leave that party, and I'm like, oh no, I'm way too drunk. I know what I'll do, I'll do what I did in college. What always sobers me up is I just take a run. So I start running, I run around the block, it's working, and I feel pressure right here. Like a heart attack. <laughs> and so I turn and I think I cough, but as I cough, I feel something go I will remember this for the rest of my life. It was a perfect sphere. It flew out that way and hit a wall and exploded into a sunburst. <laughs> and then like, I felt way better instantly. <laughs> and a bunch of people go like this. Whoa! <laughs> if you were on a cool boat, like that wouldn't sink. Oh, you know, like Titanic? No. <laughs> no. All right, y'all, This they were like, okay, this boat, no matter what, this shit ain't sinking. Oh, Titanic sinking? Hell no. Hell no, this is a cool boat. <laughs> this Only is a cool <laughs> things happen on this We got boat. a cool ass boat with a cool section up here. These motherfuckers never gonna die. They like hand out sunglasses when you get on the boat. They're like, this is a cool boat. This is a cool boat, <laughs> cool boat, cool boat. Never cool take them off. Shit sank immediately. Think about I really like pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie. I love pumpkin pie, like a lot. Right. Have you had it today? No, but then you really then don't, you don't love Yeah, you don't pie? love pumpkin pie. <laughs> Sometimes when you love something, you gotta let it go. And oh. did the pumpkin pie come back? To you? It will or, come back during or Christmas. It'll go away forever. It'll come back during Christmas time. But I, I think it was never yours. <laughs> oh, shit, skin deep on table yours. talk. <laughs> How about this? Let's say you're in the middle of the night and you're laying in your big empty dumb bed. All of a sudden a goblin shows up. <laughs> I'm a goblin. Hey, I'm gonna bring in a clone of you and you get to do whatever you want with that clone for two days. Yeah. And then the goblin disappears, gone. So let's say you're like in the shower, your clone's in the house somewhere. Then all of a sudden you hear the like bathroom door open up and you're like, hello, who's there? <laughs> and then you hear, oh, Mike, it's just me, Mike. And you're like, oh, uh, shit, I didn't lock the door, I guess. I need to jump in the shower really quick with you. Is that cool or? <laughs> I mean, I guess hop in. Yeah, thanks, man. But face the other direction, Why? I think. I'm you, And first man. of all, don't talk back to me. I'm the first you. I know, but I'm some <laughs> magical thing you don't understand. So let's be safe All right, here. well, understand oh, this. I'm sorry, a goblin brought me to you. <laughs> Who knows what else I'm capable yeah, of? Yeah, let's not even talk about that. <laughs> I'm you, man. Ask me anything. Yeah, first of all, kiss me real quick. Here we Wait, are you colorblind? Well, Am I, mean, I colorblind? These, <laughs> these, you can say, are either orange or yellow. I mean, depending on how you look at it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe you were just, like, slowly going crazy. That's the new uh, what color just... is this dress. Oh, yeah. I'm, I got irrationally angry. I think everyone got irrationally angry about that stupid dress. I thought that dress would be more popular at events. I really <laughs> did. I thought for like a year we were going to see people ironically wearing that dress to like red carpets and stuff. I feel like they had to like burn it because otherwise like it would just be all out war. Well, I also wonder too, it's like that was a legitimate phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Everybody for a week was interested in that dress. But somebody took that photo. Mm -hmm. And are they like now like a year later sitting there going, man, I should have really like focused on that dress thing. You know what I mean? Or like- I should have like, grumpy cat it. Yeah, exactly right. Grumpy yeah. cat's here at South By. It's yeah. like, what separates like grumpy cat becoming a full business versus just like a ephemeral meme that just disappears? And now there's the new kid, Damn Daniel. Damn Daniel. And then that other kid who is always with him that I don't know what his deal is. Well, he's like, he's Daniel, right? I mean, well, there's Daniel and then there's the guy that was like, Damn There's a Damn Daniel. Daniel. And so he's the guy <laughs> that's just always there. And I always forget, I'm like, oh yeah, you. That's right. See, it's funny too, because I'm fascinated by that. I'm sure the damn Daniel guy 
back again with Dwight Vans. <laughs> I'm sure he's like, this is all my stuff. And it's like, I wonder if damn Daniel feels like he's outside the limelight Ooh. because Daniel's getting all the press because he's Daniel. But it's really the damn Daniel kid saying it. That's what everybody watched that thing for. If we, if if they don't, if it doesn't spiral out of control, I feel like a Lifetime movie does need to be based around that. And that in a murder scene, he goes, "Damn, Daniel!" And then he pulls the trigger, <laughs> and it's just black. Can I be great. honest? The best massage I ever got. Remember that time that you were like, "Will let's do, let's go to massage." I'm like, oh, okay. Is that and what I sound like? Yeah. yeah. In my head, that's <laughs> how 2013 Darren was like, "Bitch, we're about to go do this, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> Get in my car. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I remember they were, we we called them and you were like, uh, "Do you guys have female masseuses?" And they were like, "Yes." And then we got there and they were like, the lady was like, "Oh, we only <laughs> have one." And then we gave each other that look and I was like, "Fine, I'll take it." That old man. Worked the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I didn't look at him. I only imagined the most stereotypical old man I could, <laughs> and he did great. That's I a sign of say. a serial killer. Have you killed animals like as a no. kid? No. Yes, but it was an accident. <laughs> uh, when I was like four, um, my brother was in primary school, elementary school, and they had a classroom mouse, and we had to look after it on a weekend, and I wanted to pat it, and then it was crawling away, so I went, "Don't go." I didn't know I had that kind of power. And then it felt good. No, I actually, that was traumatic for everyone involved. I hit it in a teapot and you know, ran away. Actually... <laughs> I would want to be haunted by Teddy Roosevelt. I feel like he would motivate me all the time. I feel like he'd wake me up in the middle of the night like, Son, what are you doing sleeping your life away? Get out there and hunt a buck! Ha ha ha! Big magic stick! I would probably go crazy very soon after, <laughs> just through sleep deprivation. But you have to be haunted location. by this person for the for, rest of forever. your life. Then I want to be haunted by Bob Ross. Now right. here's the question. Bob Ross would paint you happy dreams. <sighs> and urethra, and urethra, and urethra, and eureka. I was caught noticing my own boner. It was at sleepaway camp. And it was Which right. It was. Yes, it was. Like right before we were about to put on our production of Les Miserables, nice. I'm like wearing these like inside out track pants because it was the only dark pants that I had. <laughs> and at the time, I still hadn't quite figured out what that was. A boner? Yeah. Mm. I was just like, man, it just it gets hard sometimes. Mm. And I was just like sitting there in this position looking mm. at it <laughs> for God knows how long. <laughs> and then I just hear this girl go, "What are you doing?" That's embarrassing. It's real embarrassing. Yeah. When I was in uh, Austin, I went to this food truck that had like, they were making smoothies. Mm. So I was like, oh, this is great. Just give me your most refreshing smoothie. And they're like, okay. And I started to notice that there were like mm. things flying in mm -hmm. to the to their smoothie car. They were bees, so many bees. Mm -hmm. And I and the woman is just like, she swipes my card on our little card reader and there's like a bee hanging out here. And there's one flying around her face. I, just, I was like, first of all, that's a nightmare. Yeah. And finally, like she handed me my smoothie and I was just watching these bees flying in and out of the damn thing. And I was like, like, how can you work when there's so many bees? Because I would be like, no way. You ever hear Benjamin Franklin do stand-up? Coming to the stage, uh, he's, uh, you know, he's not a president, but he helped found a nation. He's tearing up around town. Please welcome the stage, Benny Franks. Thanks so much for being here. I tried to kill my son with lightning once. <laughs> Has anybody seen my house key? <laughs> it was on a string. <laughs> I can't get back in my house. All right, goodbye everybody. Right now, I'm not prepared to have kids because like I could, I, it would take all of my energy to handle my kids. But then my kids are gonna be like, can I invite dumbass over? I'm like, fine, you can invite over dumbass. And then dumbass is gonna be like, I have diarrhea, I have a pimple. I'll be like, dumbass, I'm not your dad. I'll yell at my kids. I can't yell at dumbass. Dumbass daddy's gonna yell at me if I yell at dumbass. I am only around people I wanna be around, mm -hmm. and I know my kids are gonna have friends that they don't like, and I will straight up tell them, you gotta stop being friends with that motherfucker. You know, I think I'd be a real bad time traveler because, like, I don't remember anything about the past. So if I traveled back in time and they're like, oh, shit, he's from the future, warn us about things, I'd be like, oh, shit, you got the wrong guy. <laughs> if I was in the JFK times, I'd be like, oh, shit, he's going to get assassinated, but I don't know uh, when. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, shit, I'm so sorry, but he will be assassinated. This Sister. guy named Hitler is going to come. Uh, eventually. Yeah. No what does way. he do? Uh, he oh, kills man. some Jews, I think. Uh, well, uh, you know, in the 1930s, that's very acceptable. That's fine. All right, so we're going to keep it cool, huh? Yeah. So let me try this Coke that's got real cocaine in it. 
one VidCon, we were all partying in Lee Newton's room. The whole gang was there. Tyler Phillips and Peter Gilroy were singing the Jurassic Park theme. Da, 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 just like that. And Tyler Phillips is like, I'm the dinosaur, come out of the egg. Ah, ah, and he's screaming and we're all like, what the hell is this happening? Is incredible. And at one point, Tyler Phillips pulled Peter Gilroy's pants and underwear completely down. Peter Gilroy didn't care. And they're still reenacting Jurassic Park scenes. <laughs> Everyone got a 360 view of Peter Gilroy's genitals. And it was probably the most insane thing I've ever seen here. Batman can't buy everything. He bought this thousand room building for some five teenagers. No. They make Batman take care of everything. I anything. want them to be at dinners at the Applebee's and they're like, well, take care of the bill, Bruce. And he's like, no! <laughs> but I mean, why would he? He like taking care of the bill at a TGI Fridays with all the Teen Titans is like couch coins to him. I mean, but he's like, he's like, please at least offer. But I would get like intensely okay. sick on a plane and it was like the third or fourth time I was going, so I was only like six years old. I looked at my mom and I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw up, this is it. And she's like, no, 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 here. And she ripped open the bag, but there, there was not enough time. And I was holding myself like this and I just threw up. It went sideways <gasps> everywhere and it completely got the person in front of me. No. Um, yeah, I started crying profusely. Um, oh. My mom didn't help me after a while. She just gave up on helping me and just threw me in the bathroom and oh. I was dirty and vomit and she just gave up. What's the most embarrassing thing Phil has done in public? Oh, I think I've talked about this on a table talk where I was like, you know what, the best way to get over like the flu, I think I'm over the flu, is let's go on a hike. And then like five minutes in, I just shit myself. Uh, and I was get like, so, so no hiking hands. today, no hiking. But I didn't want, people know Kevin Bruick, I didn't want Kevin to know, so I kind of just like waddled back to the car. It's just very, it's like, you think everybody knows? Like they're just looking at you like, have a nice day, and you're like, they know I shit myself. <laughs> We've got Anna Laurie here. She cuts her own hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, tell us all about, about cutting your own hair. Well, listen, I cut my own hair it's for like about a year now. <laughs> I just don't like to go to a salon because that's how the government gets your information. <laughs> I just don't want them to have that DNA on me, you know? Yeah, exactly. yeah, I cut my hair, I put it in a burlap bag. <laughs> burn it. Burn it, and you, you throw your ashes in the ocean. Where they can't get it. Your apartment smells horrible. It smells like burnt hair all day. <laughs> Is someone having a stroke forever? <laughs> One time, a friend of mine came back in uh, from Ireland. And she got a book full of different flavored shots and how to make them. So you can like have like a peppermint one or like a fucking pumpkin pie one. And we're like, hell yeah, let's try those. So me and my friend sat down and we we're like eight shots in. We haven't stood up at all. And we're just like, man, yeah, this is great. Yeah. These all taste amazing. And I stood up and I immediately ate it into like a bunch of music stands <laughs> in his garage. And I was like, no oh, shit. They're like, ah, maybe you shouldn't drink it. And so one of my friends put theirs down for a second on a table. And I was like. Haha, <laughs> I'll be sneaky and basically like pounce at it like a cat. So I lunged at it and I took out him on the chair, the table, but I got the shot in my hand and then threw it on my own face. I always remember that. I don't that. think I have any When that guy turns on the Death Star uh, laser, it goes, mm. He goes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in Return of the Jedi and Star Wars. Yeah. And he pulls a switch. No. That guy can't have kids, probably. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's no. so close to that laser. I, I actually think they have to change them out every day. You only get one blast and you're done. Ah! <laughs> Listen, Dave, we're gonna pay you really well, yeah, yeah, yeah. but as soon as we fire this thing, you're dead. <laughs> so there's probably some guy in the boardroom meeting that's like, you know, why don't we use a droid in there? We wouldn't have to keep hiring a new this, guy. This movement is specifically it's human very specific. based. Yeah, yeah. Droid, like, droid, droid, about to die. Yeah. And then he's yeah. like, honestly, I think we'd save a lot of money. <laughs> and Vader's yeah. just like, shut up, we don't want you in here anymore. <laughs> No one in my family had ever broken anything at that point. No one in your entire family has ever broken a bone. What? No, I was the only one. Throughout the, like, the, the Lieberman bloodline, you were the one person to really break a bone? Well, there is like a long lost member of our family named Split Lip Cohen. Who was, <laughs> he was like a Jewish gangster in New York and he would get beat up all the time, hence the name Split Lip Cohen, because he would always have a split but lip no from getting punched bones. in the face. I don't think he ever had a broken bone in his life.
Japan, I fell though. really hard on one, which I'm really sad <laughs> the cameras weren't rolling. This is all because of Darren. So one day, Darren had it in the fucking warehouse. I was like, oh man, I want to get up on that thing. Help me, Darren. And so I grabbed onto Darren and got up onto it. And then I started like going really slow. And then Darren's like, okay, now let go. And I was like, no, 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 I'm not ready to let go. He's like, come on, let go. And so I let go. And so I'm like, Darren, Darren, get me, get me, Darren, Darren, take my hand. And he's like, no, you got this, man, you got this. And I'm like, no, Darren, please help That's me, funny, Darren. Good. And I fell and it happened in slow motion. It was like a bag of potatoes just like hit the ground. So in the space station, it's not just like the main Justice League, it's like the extended Justice League, which are like hundreds of people. Yes, so many people. Yeah. So, so like many a, people. It's like a whole also, society. how much would it cost to send hundreds of people to space <laughs> and back. So they'll be on Earth and they'll be like, we gotta defeat Darkseid. Let's go meet about it in the conference room. <laughs> we'll see you Hold there on. in 17 weeks. <laughs> in 17 weeks. <laughs> Guys, the world's gonna blow up tomorrow. We about gotta get him. to the Watchtower to talk about <laughs> our strategy. We got a plan. <laughs> Four months later, they all get there. They're tired as shit. Yeah, tired They've been in cryo sleep. Superman's ass has been beat because he, he flew <laughs> yeah. there himself. He did it already. Yeah. Uh, That's impractical. There was a story that we covered a couple of years ago on TYT about this guy in Egypt who bought an invisibility cloak online <laughs> thinking it was real and then he robbed a bank with it and he obviously got caught immediately. Yeah. <laughs> like immediately. This means he got it and didn't test it out first. No. Or he yeah. tested it out. And his family or something was just being really nice to him yeah. about it. They're like, oh no, I can't see you. Yeah. Like a baby. And he was like, all right, time to rob a bank. If you can be trained by any hero, who would you choose? I would choose Canadian hero Brett the Hitman Hart. Shit you like just want to be held by him. You just want to be honest. held. Mike, I swear to God, you're okay. Don't tap out on life, Mike. Don't tap out on life. It's okay, your parents it's do okay. love you. They just don't understand. They tell me all the time. Yeah. I should have just listened. Yeah, you've got a pretty reasonable childhood. Nothing wrong here. Don't call me pretty while I'm in your arms like that, for sure. Hey, hey it's you. your mother. I got some Hot Pockets. You want some? Um, I'll take the hot pockets, thank you! Okay. <laughs> Did you ever read Cam Jansen book? Oh, you just no. made that up. She was a girl detective who her mind was like a camera and she would blink and she would make a sound like a camera taking a picture and she would remember Hold it. on, she'd make that sound with her mouth? Yeah. <laughs> so she was a respected detective. No, like, oh, no, she shit, was a child there's detective. dead people all over here. <laughs> Skid wheel. Well, I imagine, I'll save that for imagine later. Imagine she got older and she eventually became a real detective. But she still makes the <laughs> yeah, noise. Yeah, the grieving father is like just over here like crying. Hold on, I need to get a picture of your son's dead fingernails. Right. Can you just use a regular camera and then get out of here? I have a process, okay? I'm just trying to solve your son's murder. Where was I, like, I just took a picture of you, so I remember to hate you later. Yeah, I really yeah. am bad with names. Is there like an exercise I can do to Not, like kind of sharpen that shit up? You're like, a, yeah, there's an listening. exercise you could do. The can easiest you? one is like you introduce right. yourself and you say, Hi, I'm Raina. Raina, it's so nice to meet you, Raina. It makes it easier for you to recall later. Whoa. So you say, Oh, Raina. Like, oh, oh nice to meet you, Raina. Raina, yeah. nice to meet yeah, you. But you say it like a normal person. <laughs> Raina, nice to meet you, Raina. Oh, Raina, nice to meet you, oh, Raina. Raina. And you can be like, Will, have you met Raina? Yes, there you I go. have. How long has it been since you did happy hour? <laughs> or did someone steal your fucking bones? Sometimes I think about like how cool would it be not to have bones? I would really like to not have bones. I would like to be able to you move around. You wouldn't last 15 minutes with no bones. <laughs> Bro, you wouldn't last 15 minutes without bones. <laughs> don't even pretend you don't want bones. <laughs> <laughs> I just roll out of bed and then I'd have to get to the elevator. There's that little crack in between the elevator and the door that opens yeah. and I would just slip in between. Yes! <laughs> Damn. I would always like to know what's down there. Until find... somebody goes to the garage and then you're fucked. Suck it on chili dog. Suck it on chili dog. Can we get, does anyone have their phone? Uh, what if chili, <laughs> what if chili dog is a nickname for a biker gang <laughs> member kind of a guy? Jack and Diane are on adult friend finder <laughs> and they're looking for a third and they're like, meet me at the tasty freeze. It seems safe enough. <laughs> hey, it's me chili dog. <laughs> next thing you know, they both hit it off right away. They're like, well, we're going to marry this we're guy gonna, someday. We're going to marry <laughs> chili dog someday. When I heard that Jack and Diane had um, met Chili Dog, I'll have to admit I was skeptical. But seeing them together, how natural they all are together, and, and how beautiful their love truly is, all I have to say is, God bless, amen. God Ohio. bless, congratulations to Chili Dog, Jack, <laughs> Diane, Diane, the whole family. <laughs> 
We went to this life. porn star's house. Fell in love with her place. Mm. It was like this really giant, this giant fish tank. It was like checkered floors. And it was a like goddamn a snake coming out. We were hanging out. And then Isaiah was like, you gotta meet this girl snake, man. This girl snake. And I was like, oh, cool. What? And she comes downstairs. <laughs> she's got this snake around her neck. Why? And, it, and she was like, who wants to hold the snake? And I was like, I gotta get Will in here. And like you came over and you were like, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm cool with snakes, but not surprise ones. What is the scariest dream that you vividly remember? I was, it was weird. Cause like there were some real world elements into this dream. Like I was sleeping like this. And in my dream, I was having a hard time breathing. I was like, you were smothering yourself. I smothered my, I almost killed myself. <laughs> How did he die? <laughs> he somehow smothered himself. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I think that's so funny. What I remember in the dream is like I was either like going under sand or something. And then I woke up and I was like, oh fuck, I'm still dreaming. And I turned over and I was like, I'm never sleeping like this again. Yeah. We can send a message to Bubastis and put this dirty pirate in his pee pee boat and send him sailing. So, um, hold on though. If he's a barge, should we cut out his tongue first? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, wow, whoa. Larry fun. cuts his tongue out. Larry gets final revenge. Yay, Larry! 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 Larry. Okay, can we take the blood? Because the tongue bleeds a lot. Can we take the blood from that and draw cat whiskers on it? Yes! What the fuck? Yes! Also, how about this? Why don't you cauterize that wound with one of your fire arrows? <laughs> cauterize the wound? I mean, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do, yeah, I guess. cauterize it. Ah! Ah! All right, so we got so the handle. We handful. got the handle. I gotta say, we did horrible shit. Do you guys rate your apps? No. I won't rate the ones that are doing fine. Like Instagram, you don't fucking need me. Yeah. But Mike, it's I need a little boost of self-esteem, Mike. Listen, that's desperate and thirsty as hell, Instagram, and I told you not to talk to me with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you're too needy. Mike, this relationship between the two of you is never going to work out until you hear Instagram out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Jessica. You're so welcome. When Mike's not looking at me and scrolling through me, it's like I'm not even there. What about the millions of other people that are on you and scrolling towards What about you. the hundreds of apps on your phone, Mike? I want to be the one app you ever needed. No, I don't like this Instagram. You know what? <laughs> you two are fucked. I was by myself going to mass class 15 minutes early to get help with my homework. And a teacher stopped me and she's like, oh, look at you trying to be cool. Look at the way you're walking. They're trying to be cool. And Holy I was like, shit, who shat in her breakfast? Because I, like, I wasn't picking my feet up when I was walking. Uh, trying to be so damn cool. It's, what was it called? <laughs> Scuff foot Garrett. Whoa, Whoa, watch out. Oh my God. <laughs> That's why I would school. fake diarrhea. Because it was like the most entertaining thing that was happening Did you school? hear about Scuff foot Garrett? Today she <laughs> pretended she had the plop plops and she got out of English class. Yes, and she did no, she did! No way, that is so gross! Flying in flagrant defiance of all the rules he would say Brutus's! <laughs> what a bloody legend! When I lived in Connecticut, in Milford, Connecticut, I hit a bird. And he rolled up the windshield, and he rolled down the windshield. So he was stuck at the... Certainly oh was. He was stuck <laughs> where the windshield meets the car, and I was like, oh boy, this is bad because he's hurt and he's still alive. So I put the windshield. Oh, I knew it. Arms, I knew it. And he looked at me. And he was like, ah, ah, ah. Every and time. I, and I pulled into a parking lot and I was like, listen, I'm so sorry. The bird didn't understand because no. it was a bird. Yeah. No.